that's an entrance I can get used to. Welcome, everybody, to the Crossfire Podcast. And let me tell you, we're going to slow it down tonight, and we're going to talk a little bit about something we haven't usually talked about, and that's games. We're going to focus on games tonight as much as possible, and then we're going to revert to what may be or may not be the typical bias that we have to deal with on a day-to-day basis in the industry. But let's start by saying hello to everybody. we got a couple special guests with us this evening and a couple of my usual suspects who are always with us. Let's start with the usuals at first. First live's got to calm down with that Twizzler bag. Second of all, <laughs> we got Crap Gamer. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Tonight? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, <laughs> glad to be back here. Uh, just, you know, playing the hell out of that Call of Duty, man. It's fantastic. I'm lo- loving it. Nice, buddy. Nice. I, I, I agree with you, and it was funny because Southie asked me a question beforehand. Well, I want to dive into it with all of you guys. He said, what do you think, Mooch? And I'm saying it was good from what I played, but let's just be honest. When you go out and get a physical disc on launch night, you're not getting to that game till 1 a.m. on the East Coast, and we all got to get up at 6 a.m. to go to work. Yeah, so, I, I went digital with it. Man, I was playing it at midnight. Smart played move. Played it until 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Smart move because you were playing at 12.01. <laughs> Hell yeah, I, don't I, blame you. I don't blame you one bit. Let's go right down the line. My boy, southbound and down over from the L.A. What's up, man? What it do, do everybody? You know, it's your boy, Southie, here. South I, I, it, it's been a couple weeks, you know what I mean? I had to make my presence <laughs> felt, you know? <laughs> we missed you, man. Listen, people and, always uh, write me. I, I Where, the Where the hell southbound? Where the hell southbound? So listen, South, I've South been having a lot, of, a lot of personal shit going on, you know? And it's like between here and TXR, yeah. uh, you know, I, I've, I've actually missed a lot of time. So I'm kind of kind of fucked up. Well, I'm but, glad uh, you, t- you you got to do you, you know, first and foremost. No, hey, well, that's know. right. You know, r- r- real world shit, you know, happens, yeah. but... uh. You know, I, I I try to make do. Yeah, yeah. No, no, listen. I got to be honest. Me and South, they had a conversation earlier today. To be honest with you, you know, a lot of people don't realize that uh, we are all so grateful for our subs and fans and all the other uh, adjectives that, that we describe everybody by. But to be honest with you, there's a lot of shit that goes on in all of our personal lives. And, and sometimes it's hard to make a show. So I appreciate South coming down tonight and, and, and gracing us with his opinions. Um, I got my boy. Xbox four four eight. What is going on, brother? What's going on, Mooch? I am I am actually very proud. Uh, Call of Duty came out, and my streak of not buying a Call of Duty is intact right now. I very haven't nice. bought I haven't bought a Call of Duty <laughs> since Call of Duty two. Wow! But, but Call of Jesus. Duty is in the house because I, I do have a thirteen year old son, and I will be checking it out Monday. So, so you, get, you get you got these loopholes. See, when Mook says uh, <laughs> I'm not buying a game or this and that, I can't be like, well, hey, but I did buy it for my neighbor. Hey, he's and, like, yeah, uh, I bought know. it for my son, but not for myself. So I didn't buy it technically. <laughs> oh, I didn't buy it. No, <laughs> right? No, check this out. My son. He was like, he was like, I, I gave my son the money, so he bought no, it. No, yeah, yeah, my yeah. Son saved up the money that he got from his grandmother. So I am not a part of this at all. My hands were not on this at all, <laughs> and I get to buy it one day. That is a loophole. I cut through the red tape and I found a way, man. I'm just hey, saying. Hey, I smell some bullshit, but you know <laughs> yeah, what? Hey, yeah, that's go great. ahead, brother. Do he, you? Do you? He's good at doing that. He did it. A, I think it was another game. He did it. He's like, I am putting my foot down. I will never play that game. However, my son's playing it no more than five feet away from me right now. <laughs> and I'm like, what the? Wait, that doesn't count as a boycott. No. Um. Hey, let's get to our special guest because. Because uh, they took their time out on a Friday evening to hang out with us. Let me start with my buddy. This is a guy I've been playing so much gears with that we know exactly what our missus like to do and not do in the evening. Live, what's going on, brother? Welcome to the show. Oh, yeah. It's your boy, Live <laughs> Wires. What's going on, man? Yo, Live. Yeah, my wife was a little bit like, really- like, 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 hit me up. He was like, yo, what you doing right now? I'm like, uh, <laughs> I could get on. The wife's a little pissed, though. But (laughs) oh, listen, man. First of all, what people don't realize is, first of all, I live. I don't even know if you know this, but I've been promoting your channel for a few weeks now, especially while we've been hanging out. You are one funny motherfucker, and I'm not lying. People don't realize this. They got to get to know you more. And I'm hoping on this show, a lot more people get to hear your voice and your true opinions on shit, like we talk about when we're gaming, and let people know exactly what your channel is, because you do some amazing thirty to thirty-five minute rants. Where it's you and nobody else. And let me tell you something. That's some of your best material. So keep that no, shit thanks, coming. Man. Keep that shit coming live. I appreciate it. Uh, my next he, guest he, tonight. He's got that Ronnie Dangerfield shit going oh, on. No shit. respect. No Absolutely. Respect, man. You got to hear him. Especially, you know, his last two were off the hook. Um, but we'll definitely promote it and put it into the description so everyone can find you live. I got um, my boy Too Much Food, which food, 
I gotta have a couple uh, questions for your channel because you're doing so much shit right now. I, I don't know what's going. I'm trying to keep up with you. You got the the great one on one food cast you're doing. You you had X Spot on yesterday. It was a great show. Uh, and then you're doing something else where you're doing a live video cam feed at, at a game store, and I watched that shit too. Uh, but welcome <laughs> to the show, bro. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I got a lot of things going on here. And uh, right now I'm in the process of finding that identity for my new show. But uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm getting a lot of feedback, uh, way more feedback from the community and w way more people involved with the new show mm -hmm. than I previously intended. So I I'm really excited and it's going pretty well. I, I just got to interject here and let food know that when it came down to what we did yesterday, I came out as the clear winner. Oh, we, my God. All right. That's that's what happened, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Just cause cause you have more cheerleaders than me. That doesn't mean you win. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys have the best cheerleaders, but they have a Tony And that's Romo. what keeps them in the NFL. I'm just oh saying. <laughs> no, Jerry. Jerry keeps them in there. Uh, <laughs> We'll we'll have to put that in the description too, man. It was a great show you guys put together. Thank and you. And then he muted his mic, but I'm gonna go ahead and give him an intro. The governor, as everybody knows him, and GKB. Listen, the one thing I'm gonna try to get out of you is the winner of the console corner, uh, new co-host. Or if you don't want to tell us tonight, we'll just wait until you guys want to tell us in February 2017. What's <laughs> up, governor? And his mic. Hold on, hold on. Wait. I'm I'm on it. Thank you, Crap. <laughs> you know what it is? Is GKB's got so many mics and setups right now. Like they have the like pimp set up in the basement right now where they're doing their live show. We'll come back to GKB. But yes. um, I want to explain to everybody. So we're going live tonight at seven o'clock versus uh, six o'clock. And I'll tell you, it's already working out crap because uh, I'm at we're at almost 200 people, which we don't usually get till till close to seven o'clock. We wanted to just test out the times. It, and see it, what it makes it easier best. for me, to be honest with you. It, you know what? That was the other thing I noticed is that crap had said seven would have been easier. This is four o'clock for you, Southeast, so that's easier. And it gives everyone a chance. Everyone else here is East Coast, too. Live, I don't know if you're East or not. You're East Coast. Yeah, he's Jersey. Yeah, Jersey. So you got basically what I'm looking at here is everybody gets to come home from work. They get to eat. They get to hang out for a minute with their families. And then they go, listen, family, I got to go hang out with Mooch. So listen, yeah, that's... I was you gonna know, say, man, I didn't have to speed. I didn't have to speed feed the kids. So exactly, that, that, was, that was awesome, man. I think we're gonna keep it at <laughs> seven o'clock. This has been a big hit, and there he is, GKB. What's up? Buddy? What's up? I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm like, you're probably right, Mooch. I had all these setups I got going on over here, just screwing everything up. But uh, <laughs> good to be on, man. Sorry, I didn't get your uh, DMs earlier, man. I had the Windows updates, brother. <clears throat> that's all right, buddy. That's all right. I, no, I figured something was up. That's why I went to the misses. At least with you, we got a fail safe. If we can't get a hold of GKB, <laughs> hit she wolf up. The same thing with vice versa, right? So Sorry. listen, let's do something we haven't done a long time on Crossfire, okay? There's, this is the seat where here we are, folks, okay? Tis the season for gamers. We say we're gamers, we're playing games. Uh, everyone on this, this this panel can all speak for each other. I mean, if, if you don't believe me, ask Livewire. Me and Live together have about, just me and him playing about 35 to 40 hours out of my 60 on, on Gears together. Everyone's nice. playing. Uh, but let, let's go down the row here. Let's ask. I want to start with food. Too much food. What are you playing consistently, and what are you kind of dabbling with right now? And uh, and tell us how you kind of like came to the conclusion of what you wanted to buy and what you wanted to wait on. Oh man! Oh uh, wow! Okay, so <laughs> consistently, I've been playing uh, the Master Chief Collection because I gave myself the task to. I wanted That's to play right. through all the Halos again. Um, and and I it, it kind of made me fall in love with the whole story again and pre make me appreciate it even more. What difficulty um, food? legendary of course uh, nice. Um, nice. I, I played through uh, all Ain't the nobody campaigns. got time for that <laughs> <laughs> uh, i played through the campaigns i i enjoyed odst the most once again um it's a personal favorite of mine uh and then i i was saving money because i knew i wasn't gonna have that much money at, at all if any this holiday season i only have enough money to buy one game and i stuck with uh infinite warfare because i felt like it was the first call of duty in over three years that i i could justify purchasing because i played the beta i liked it uh my call of duty comes with a pair of socks so at least my feet will be warm this winter and uh, I, I'm, I'm i'm thoroughly enjoying that right now so that's what i've been playing that's Nice, buddy. Very nice. I mean, listen, uh, to be honest with you, I when I get to my turn, I will explain to the audience, too. I also I do have to blame the infamous crap gamer crap. Many months ago said nostalgia he used my own medicine against me is a hell of a drug. And he's like, did you or did you not? He was 
God, he went fucking Tom Cruise on me. Did you or did you not give the order to say that nostalgia is a hell of a drug? I said, yes, it is. <laughs> and he turns around and he says to me, well, then you need to play the greatest Call of Duty that's ever come out in the modern, you know, Modern Warfare 4, basically. And, and, and it's, it's remasters built from the ground up. He's right. I'm giving it a shot. And I'll tell you right now, as of 1 a.m. yesterday, half my friends list, everyone's on COD. So, yeah. you know. We all sit here. We all bust its balls, but it's still the 800-pound gorilla. Oh, you don't sell 26 it'll million always, copies. It'll always sell sell well. People, oh. like, they, they, oh, I'm not going to buy it. Uh, this, this, uh, boots on the ground. And right. you know what? Activision heard next year's is going to be something more boots on the ground, and they give you a good option, man, like that. Remastered. Looks better than looks better if or as good as the the new Call of Duty. Right, you know, it looks fantastic and the story. Like I'm sitting there playing through it, I'm like all gillied up and that went where the tank and then you're you're hiding in the tank and those people are coming towards you and you got you uh, can't really that move. Was the, that was and, and your controller's bad. shaking. Yeah, it's oh like my that god, shit, it's I was I was there. so tense and you know yeah. your your, your butthole tightens up and everything else. Yeah, hey, that, that, that was still there, man. Hey, that was that was one of the best gaming moments I I've ever experienced. Yeah, and they got they got the best maps in there. I mean, all sixteen are going to be there by December for free, but like the ones they got now, like Shipman and Crash, like just amazing. Yeah. I was on there playing, man. Just uh, boom, pick it up, thirty and ten, man. 35 let's, and 6. Let's man. get in, let's get let's use a word crap that we haven't used in a long time. Let's start talking about value, okay? And uh by the way, guys, even though we're going down here, this is not a round table discussion. You guys chime in whenever you want. Um to be honest with you, value, okay? So, I'm a sucker for the 80s. All right? Someone said to me, "Mooch, have you seen that show on Netflix called Stranger Things?" I was like, "No." And I started walking away. They're like, "It's 80s based." I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I turned right around. Like, what did you just say? It's 80s based. So yep. they have a um, the zombies is this this zombie arcade or whatever it is. And it's 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 taking place in the 80s as an 80s theme. You've got the modern warfare uh, remaster. You've got the infinite warfare star starring Jon Snow. I mean, listen, my point being here is for 80 bucks and all the map packs that crap was just talking about. I, I got to say whether unless you just hate. Unless you just hate FPS, right? You hate for first-person shooters and something somewhere along the lines in your childhood, COD did you bad, okay? Like, it's, hey, it's a great value. Hey, COD touched me in places. So exactly. You know, <laughs> it, COD touched me in places I didn't approve. I mean, if that shit's the way you feel, but, I mean, $80 for all of that, I, I just can't see somebody arguing with that at this point. I mean, what do you guys think? Southie, are you, did you pick it you up? You know what? You know what? I've paid a lot less for $80. You know what I mean? Like, right. It, like you said, the value is is there. You know, I know people basically complain that they wanted to buy it separately, and you know, right, 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 right. for that. But you know what, a eighty bucks. You know, like it. It seems like nowadays eighty is the standard. You just get like a couple skins or something else, and it, and it's really nothing for that extra twenty bucks. So you got a whole damn game for the 20 extra 20 bucks and i mean you can't beat that with a you gotta be ball. careful when you say expansions on tonight's fucking uh, uh show we're gonna all be eating fucking like antacids when we're talking about the gears I, expansion well, pack. well yeah well, well i think actually did a video on expansions and talking about uh forza horizon 3 because you know that that actually got into a little bit with uh the the two yeah, did. not being in the ultimate edition but I had to go down the list and tell everybody exactly the extra content that you got with the Ultimate Edition, just yeah. to you know put it out there that you did get content, man. Like, and in and one instance with the car packs, it's like six months worth of content. So, like, yeah, you do get content with that, but paying if, <laughs> paying thirty five dollars for two expansions is well, a bit 25 much. Twenty five with opinion. with the Ultimate, if you 25. get it this year. I'm, I plan on it, but I'm a Forza dude too. You know what I'm I saying? Am too. Like I, I love Forza, but damn man, like they're like that to me. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? That's one thing I can I can criticize right now. Xbox's uh, microtransaction is, is a little yeah. skewed. Yeah. Why Why change what Halo did? Because they, theirs was perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? It didn't upset anybody. You right. get the free maps. Everybody's there. And the Gears thing is the most worthless. The oh, good. It's ridiculous. It, it's, it's ridiculous. It's completely worthless because they're like, hey, you want to play as these guys? 20 bucks. Hey, you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's well, like, well, it's like I'm not playing these guys. I 
just pictured crap in a dark alley with a trench coat, like opening up the trench coat. He's got two no name hey, rappers wait. right there. You want to play it? So guys, twenty bucks. Hey, yeah, oh, 20 bucks, bucks crap! Man. And that's the thing. You, hey, hey, who the fuck are those guys? Like, it's not like I don't know who they are. Or fucking Tupac, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad you said that, South, because listen, I got to be honest with you, and maybe we can even ask. Like, I, I, I'm in tune. I got my ear to the ground. I know what's going on. And I was like, these dudes. I'm like, why? I'm, what, you pick these dudes. I'm, I'm a hip hop dude. You know what I mean? I know I you love are hip hop. So, but, yeah, and, and I, like, I just, well, I know who Killer Mike is. Right, Killer I, Mike, exactly. I know who Killer yeah, Mike. But I didn't I, know, I know he was in shit. another group. So right. when I, I was like, all right, the guy is he a rapper? The other guy, I guess it's it's his DJ or something. I don't know. I, right. I don't know. But I mean, yeah, I know who Killer Mike is. That's all. That's all. You I guys know. are gonna think I'm being completely cheeseball. But it's because I've been following him on Twitter for like four years now. But if you wanted to put a rapper in there that, that has some nostalgia and holds it, put Ice-T, man. I would have bought Ice-T yep. in a minute. Whoa. Yep. I would have bought yeah, a T in a minute because, you know what I'm saying? You put Ice-T in there, he, he could have just came out and been like, read well, his lemonade. A, there's a, there's lemonade. a lot of rappers that, that love video games. <laughs> what and about Jaden? You could have put Snoop in there. You could put Snoop. You could put the game. The game, matter of fact, he was on Snapchat today with a fucking Gears controller, the Elite. You know what I mean, yeah. and and and, the, yeah. and he wrote on it, "My first love." So why wasn't you know someone like the game? You know, he's Funny way more popular than the Mike. Ice T was in Gears Three. Yeah, that, yeah, that's why I said I said it makes way more sense yeah. to have him in there. But yeah, I mean, no, just I mean, just the fact that like, okay, so you buy the season pass, which costs uh, like I guess fifty bucks or forty bucks. What do you actually get with that? You get access to the maps that everybody else the gets maps access that, to. Yeah. <laughs> you just get to use them in. You just get to hold them. Lobby. That's it. You just yeah, get to hold them. Yeah, woohoo! You know what I mean? I'm never gonna do. I'm never gonna utilize that. So you're gonna have to pay to play as characters. Are are the yeah. characters like? Do, do they have? Wait, you have to pay for them all the all the story. Oh, well, you pay man. for you. You get a base amount of characters, and then basically you have to. You can craft new characters, but then you have to have packs, and you got to buy these packs. And there's no guarantee that you'll get new characters. You got to scrap. Get scrap oh, okay. out of them. But, but See, my question is: Are they in my? Can I like you know make scraps to get them, or I have to have the expansion to even even possibly get them? No, you no, you don't need. Them. Yeah, you, you just but everybody has to pay for packs, whether you have the expansion, whether you have the pass or not. I mean, if yeah. you want, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Like, and if you it's want just, this, like these two rappers, it's twenty bucks. And to That's me, to me, it, it's <clears throat> it's uh, it's a little bit nickel and diming. Yeah, and, but just, and a lot of people, yeah. hey, and I'm going on record because a lot of people think that I'm the biggest, you know, Xbox apologist and you know, ass kisser. Uh, th this transaction for Gears, uh, I'm not down with. I no, didn't this, this shit would have made way more yeah. sense if it was like, all right, we're gonna give you the Wu Tang Clan expansion or something like that. Like people oh, actually, man, man. like that would make more sense than Run the Jewels. Who the fuck is Run the Jewels? Most people. <laughs> people <laughs> know who they were until Hold on, if you did the, the Wu Tang back. Clan, that would have been like thirty people, dude. <laughs> yeah, but it would have been twenty dollars for thirty people. Now that makes more sense. No, it would have been more money then, man. Come on. Um, what I'm thinking about you can make it twenty dollars for thirty people. <laughs> what, what I'm here is. What I'm curious to see is how how well this goes over in Gears and how well this goes over in Final Fantasy because isn't the new Final Fantasy letting you pay to play through the multiplayer oh, with new characters man. as well? Yes, uh, you got to pay for the multiplayer or whatever. So Which is absolute but, bullshit. But characters, you have I think you have to pay to play through the the multiplayer online with different characters so like this is this is what i've been thinking about the whole time because i want to see how well it passes over with gears which is a, an exclusive on xbox a console everybody loves to hate and then square enix a developer that everybody on the planet loves to love especially since they're japanese so like that's what i'm thinking i want i i'm just curious i want to sit back and watch how well, wait a minute what? let me ask you a question I, what's hey, the multiplayer you know what? final fantasy all about yeah, oh, nobody didn't knows know that was happening. <laughs> All we know is is that there's there's oh, a co -op. multiplayer. It, like you, you got to do co-op, but you got to pay for the characters. You got to pay oh, for right. co-op. Yeah, <laughs> get you're out. Not, you're not paying to win or anything, are you? No, not no, paying. To no, win. no. You got to pay to play. <laughs> Like that's, that's just one game well, I don't give two fucks about, man. Right. I mean, now, when you say, you you say to play, does that mean you have to pay to play the multiplayer or just pay yes. to play a new character? Well, in the what I've seen, you have to pay to play the multiplayer. Multiplayer co-op is is behind a paywall 
uh, DLC. You get it with the season pass, but that's not going to go over well. Yeah, you have to put money down to play. Well, you know, there's a double standard. This is what this is why I want to fast forward in the future. I want to see how well that does. I think it's it's going to be interesting because we know the media is going to write the best articles on. If you fast forward into the future, do me a oh, favor. Shit, food, they, food they got his ass out. Well, maybe he went to the future. <laughs> listen, <laughs> why, listen kind of... food, if you're there, can you get me that almanac that fucking Michael J. Fox and Doc Brown found? Because I want to get that betting thing going. <laughs> he already told um, you. Cubby's win, dude. Cubby. Yeah, they were yeah, all playing here, but yeah, still. I would... <laughs> but... <laughs> there he is. Oh, oh shit. Oh. As far as like the, the DLC and everything, like I, I really, I know I'm probably going against the grain with uh, everybody else on the panel, but I really don't see an issue with it as long as it's not pay to win. Like if you're paying for skins and all that stuff, that's right. optional content. Well, I could really care less. TGKB, let me talk, let me address what you just said. I, sure. 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm 100% with you there. That's, it's a great point, but the problem I have here here's is that- why you're wrong. <laughs> but why make it 20 and 40, 60 and $100 packs? Can't we get down to like what we used to do? Two- Six, yeah, but, eight, and ten dollar packs. But here's the thing, too. Like, you know, we talked about this on Xbox Nation as well. Yeah. Like, games are getting super expensive. Like, their budgets are more than movies yeah. now. The industry is even more than the movies now. So, like, and you know, we got Scorpio and the Pro coming out. So we're going to be getting 4K content, which takes more to develop, right? Uh, more right. time, all that kind of stuff. So they have to it's recruit their money visual. some way. It's all well, visual. Listen, what GK yeah. is saying, but G, but here's the thing, though. Do right, you want to pay like eighty dollars just for the base game and then but, DLC, but listen, or you want to? And then business, business, most of us, though. most of us paid a hundred dollars. Like I paid a hundred dollars right. for it for the gears game. So did I. Well, so, so I, mean, I spent four hundred fifty dollars because I got the fucking. Well, I paid four fifty too. Well, but yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Into it. but that's yeah. probably yeah. the actual value of what it would cost if it went with inflation. Like the games probably should cost about a hundred bucks. I know if the argument simple. that you There's know something to be said about that too. Uh, there is something to be said about that. Lot. I know the argument that Sal's going to say, and you know, I I even said this before. Like if you pay the season pass, you get everything for the year. That's how it should be. Period. End of story. I totally well, yeah, agree. That's true. Well, no, but, no, no, no. I'm not even saying that. But but like what what Moose just said. What what happened to three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars? Yeah, but like twenty. You, yeah, 20, like listen, that, listen that, to that, me, that's guys. just a stretch, bro. When just you, for two fucking characters that nobody really gives two shits about. But that's the point. You know what I mean? And, and they're they're, they're trying to so. hype. They're they're trying to hype them up like they're the fucking Grammy award. You know, multi platinum fucking Tony Braxton. People. Yeah, yeah, guys, exactly. listen, listen. Exactly. You, you, oh, can, you can go big. You can go big with one product. Totally listen, though, you guys, guys, you can go big with one product. Or you can sell a lot of, of a smaller, cheaper product. Hear me out. Instead of doing the 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 kit or the cargo or whatever that is there, the the, the one for ninety nine ninety nine or the one for sixty nine ninety nine or now these are for twenty bucks. You want to do the two, six, eight, ten dollar. It's the same thing. When you, uh, the only person I can't speak for is food because I've never talked to food about this. But like I know everyone else here drinks. And like if you went out to a liquor store, okay, and everyone talks about Grey Goose, that's fine. Grey Goose is great. Don't get me wrong. But Grey Goose, depending on where you Ciroc, are, rock. But you know, that's fine. Ciroc is fine. Diddy's loving you for that comment. But what that's I'm saying right. to you is this: you you walk in, you buy your Ciroc, you buy your Goose, right? Those are sixty dollar bottles for a handle. But for a handle of Schlitz, you can get that for twelve dollars. Now. We already know the difference in the product, but the the liquor store is selling way more slits. Okay, so my whole point is, is you, is why would you want to sell a hundred ninety nine dollar packs? I'd rather sell two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, eight dollar packs. Like I have no interest in what is it? I don't even know what it's called. Ron and Jewel or Robin Jewel? But if, run, if, run if, and Jewel, yeah. Ron and Jewel. But if it was two bucks, I'd be running and jeweling all night. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, why not? You know, <laughs> I just don't. I don't see why yeah, they can't true. have like both schemes. I, I don't. Right. I totally agree with you on a business uh, from a business front. You you make a lot of sense, but I think I people like me yeah. prefer to. I would rather have a one hundred dollar, a hundred and twenty dollar pushing it where I get everything. I don't have to wonder when something comes out. It just automatically downloads. I don't have to go, do I need to pay $2 for this character? I'd rather already have Wait, 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 it. wait, food. Let me clarify what you're saying. Are you saying the $100, like the $100 that me, GKB, and South paid for our game should already have that? Or you're saying an additional $100 is okay with you, but you know you're getting everything? I'm saying I would rather pay. You know how we're paying base prices for 60 bucks, and then yes. from anything ab above that is essentially they're trying to sell you something extra. Yes. Um, 
if you want to do microtransactions and stuff like that, I think that's great because what if what if there's one character people really do want to buy, but they don't want all the other stuff. They don't want to pay 40 bucks, right? Okay. Of course, that'd be great to have a, be able to buy that character for five, six, seven dollars, right? I think that option should be there. But people like me, where they do want all this content, don't want to deal with any microtransactions, don't want to have to go right. to a store, keep an eye out for when something is available. You just okay. want it to download overnight when it becomes available. I'd right. rather pay the 100 bucks over the $60 base price and uh, maybe even 120 bucks. Yeah, and but I here's the problem. The but that's not what they're that's not what they're giving us. We, oh, we, not we, at paid, all. we paid the 100. Now they asked for another 100. <laughs> right. And that's my <laughs> point. It's like you pay, you pay the base game. You know, you and, and, and I'll be pass. honest. Yeah. And, I'll be, and I'm sorry if I'm interrupting anybody. Yeah, go ahead, go. You know what? Hey, I thought the the marketing for gears was fucking top notch. It they, was. I mean they it, I mean you you seen the They the did. They got people like you guys they, to pay they, them for all that for nothing. Yeah, and, no no no. <laughs> the, the, you know, you've seen commercials everywhere, you've seen billboards, you know, you, you even see the the shit advertised on YouTube, which you hardly ever see any Xbox games on YouTube. Right. You know what I mean? So right. like like to me the marketing was perfect. Now these these transactions microtransactions is given a, a bad taste. Of you guys remember mouth. in 2003 when the shit hit the fan, when we went to, we had the Iraqi war and all that stuff. All of a sudden you went, one day you went to the gas pump, it was $2. And then on Thursday it was five eighty five. You're like, what the hell just oh happened? My God. What I'm saying yeah. is we went from $2, $3, maybe even eight to $10 tr uh, micro transactions to do a hundred dollars. I looked at that and I was like, Oh, look at that shit. A typo. Can I, can I, I ask you guys this? Like, um, and, and, I may be completely oblivious to how this was done, uh, maybe because I knew I wasn't going to buy gear, so I didn't pay attention to it. But how is it that you guys uh, bought this game and and didn't notice like this is that this was happening? Is it did they not put like uh, any print or an asterisk? No, there's no. Uh, they were kind of They were yeah. No, they were they were packs even in the beta, but. Uh, everybody thought that you'd be able to just like earn them really quick through the multiplayer right. and stuff, and you can't. But they did say, "Hey, we're listening. We're gonna in put an update to make it easier to gain, whatever." So they are doing. Have they that, done that yet, crap or no? It's supposed to be coming. They said today, or so I don't know. Okay. I mean, they've already adjusted it a couple of times. The problem is, it takes <laughs> it takes like a million matches to get to do any to get anything. I think it's really ridiculous. The overlying thing to solve all of our issues is instead of raising the base game, like. Keep doing the season pass thing, but like we said multiple times before, have everything in the freaking season pass. That's what you're paying for. That's what you need to get. That would solve right. all this, all these right. issues. But like, like I said before, with all this, you know, you know, development and all this, like costs are going to go up. They're they have to, to recoup the money some way because like we were talking about the rappers and stuff that are going to be in gears. Like they have to pay for licensing them on all the DLC. They have to probably pay the record company and all this other stuff. So yeah, that's going to drive the cost up and everything right. like that. Just from a pure business perspective, I mean, they gotta they gotta figure it out some way. Okay, in but the then ha at least have some fucking rappers that are well known. You know what I mean? Like well, like well, that, said, that, that you know, put the cost in there. there. So I, mean? I, I think what what needs to happen is what crap said with with forza horizon like they have to go and look at 343 what they did now 343 they have gold rec packs they have a bundle for a hundred dollars but it doesn't take a lot to go in game and get gold packs so exactly what crap said i think that if they completely mimic 343 i don't see why they wouldn't do that except for just the fact that they did come out with a season pass because I don't believe Halo did. Yeah, but they, no, did. they there, there was oh, no yeah. season pass. Yeah, no right. Season pass. Uh, yeah, no. every, every, everything Perfect. was. They had their microtransactions, but all, well, uh, all the updates, the gears the pass was confusing as hell. Yes, it yeah, was. it was. Yes, it's it was. so it's so confusing. It's like it's so. What do I get for this? Oh, you get you get to play it four days early. Okay, yeah. cool. Do I get the maps? Um, do I get the maps? Uh, yeah, but you don't, and you get the maps, but everybody gets the maps anyway. But you get the host private lobbies with the maps. So hey guys, private hey lobbies, it comes with a Zika flu shot and um, a monster <laughs> energy drink. Like the, like the only person that's going to really benefit is, you know, you know, pro Our gear players the, the that, pro that, gear. that need yeah. to be able to study the maps, you know, over and over and over again. Because, uh, look, man, I play gears. I like the free flow it, blow motherfuckers balls off, whatever the fuck I got to do in order to win the match, you know? Right. Um. Like, I don't really do. We don't do private lobbies that often. We just don't. 
No, we don't. I mean, it's happening a little bit more often now because, let's be honest, there is an odd situation. It's amazing when they do odd numbers, how things work out weird. Like, Destiny with three is always weird. And for some reason, multiplayer in Gears is not 6v6. It's 5v5 with spectators. So, there, we remember, I mean, live, we've, we've had a couple instances now where we had to leave competitive play. And we were still playing competitively, but we won't get points for it because we had to do a private match. Um, oh, yeah. You know, we had, we've had to do that. But, I mean, don't get me wrong. The game is new, so you've got a lot of hype around it. But, I mean, myself personally, I want to I revert back. I, I don't want to leave this. I have a feeling that the microtransaction topic will come up again tonight. But, GKB, I do want to ask you a question. Yeah. You're playing, you're playing uh, Call of Duty last night, and I believe if I read your tweets right today, you didn't play the campaign. You went headfirst into the multiplayer. Yep. Uh, yeah. Were you playing Infinite Warfare or the remastered Nostalgia? Actually, I jumped right into Remastered, um, and it's everything that I remembered. It's fantastic. Um, can, can you can tell everyone good. a little bit about your your experience with it? How crisp, how clean is it? Does it feel like they built it back from the ground up, or does it feel like a paint job? Uh, to well, me, it feels like... Well, well, hold on, and let me, let me ask one more question to add sure. to that. Um, because the, the original didn't have checkpoints, you know what I mean, where you got to a certain point. Like the enemies kept coming and coming and coming. Like they wouldn't stop until you got to the exact check checkpoint. Through the did campaign. Did they fix that? You're right in the campaign. Did they um, fix I that? I didn't play the campaign yet. I've only played the multiplayer ah, for okay. a couple hours. But um, that's why really, one thing crap, I was hoping that they did. That. Crap, I think. Yeah, I think but it's, it's hard saying if that if that's fixed because I know what you're talking about. But I mean, I you guess know, you know the part where where you got to kill that dog when you got to fucking rip his skull open. Yeah. Remember, you're, you're in the backyard, yeah. and 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 you got just waves of enemies coming, and like until you get past where the helicopter comes, like you're like you're continually got enemies just coming, coming, coming at you, because you know how mostly most of the time you you have games where like the music stops. Okay, all right, I got to this certain point now. You know, now I can go to the the next checkpoint or whatever. There ain't gonna be any more waves of enemies coming until I get to a certain point. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. It was like the infinite respawns for the enemies. Right, so, right, right, right. Yeah, but it's hard saying. Like I said, like because I played, you know what I mean. I, I just played on normal. So to okay. me, it's like it seems like there's a lot, and I'm thinking, damn, for a 360 game, they had a lot of damn enemies on the screen. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, yes. yeah but for me, well, I remember hiding behind those those trash cans. You know, next to the fence, yeah. and I was like, "Son of a bitch, one of these guys." Gonna I got stop killed coming. a lot. I got killed a lot on normal mode on that. You know what I mean? You know, so, well, uh, I, yeah, because me, I always try to play the hardest difficulty. You know, and good luck uh, with that, especially when you do <laughs> when you do the yeah you do like the Ferris wheel part, and you gotta carry that guy around. Oh and then yeah, yeah, that's that was behind the Ferris wheel, that, yeah. and then you got you got all these like hundreds of enemies swarming you, and you gotta hold out till the chopper gets there. That's insane. Um, it's so great to hear you guys talk about this because this is that whole nostalgia conversation, but oh. it's actually happening in a good light. Well, yeah. you know what? Like, um, I, I just I, I had a smile on my face. I, I've been playing it. I'm actually really tired because I've been playing it. Like, I played it a good portion of the night, and then I slept for a few hours, and I played it all day, and I was in the multiplayer. And they did add a couple of things to the multiplayer. Like, you can customize your... Um, your little background thing or whatever and your, your emblem. So they did add that. Um, you know what I mean? But for the most part, things just play how I remember it. And it's just so clean. And so Absolutely. there's a counter to everything. And that's what I love about it. There's stopping power. The, 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 not. The, be, the best thing ever about that whole game was getting that 10 proceeds symbol and having it on your, uh, Oh, your oh yeah. Crap, craps, got till, craps got till February 14th. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but you, no, but remember to get that to get that cross with with the little diamond in it. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I remember it. I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm hey, I, I had that as happening. my profile, you know, picture for. I mean, you like should you should represent that loud and clear. That shit took a long time to get. So, I still have mine on Call of Duty Four, and then I remember um, they were they were having issues back in the day, and they're like, if anybody wants their rank reset, po yep. paste in your. Uh, gamer tag on this on on this site and we'll reset it to zero and I did that to Hellhammer and oh, <laughs> he went back oh down to God. level so yeah he got deranked to level zero it was funny as hell but, <laughs> that's yeah. so yeah. wrong man yeah, that's, yeah. that's what older brothers do man we thought it was one brothers. of them cheaters like on Modern Warfare too like I was I was prestige and legitly and then him and everybody hopped into a hacked lobby and all got ten prestige. That's hysterical. In like two yeah. seconds, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, fuck you guys, man. I, I never. I, hey, man. 
Just I didn't so. prestige. I didn't prestige anymore after that. I was like, yeah, it's not worth it because everybody could just, you know, it loses its meaning when people just cheat. Right. Well, that's the other thing, right? So that was one of the things with the, with the game. If it did come back from back and pat, one of the issues with a lot of the old Call of Duty games on 360 was the servers were having, you know, they were hacked, this, that. People were flying around. So none of that's going to happen with this game, right? We're on new servers and everything's being watched yeah. diligently. I yeah. haven't seen any glitch in anything like that. At least for the next 10 years, there won't be. The one thing that they changed about Domination, it switches sides now after a halfway point, which it didn't used to do that. And I noticed that right away. It's not a deal breaker, but it, I guess it was a little bit odd because I'm just used to pounding and pounding and keeping my, my team, keeping the other team pinned back in one base the entire time. You know what I mean? And then right. now, like, automatically you switch sides after 100 points. So I got to say that this 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 Call of Duty that is actually a very quality, like, item, a uh, product, because we get a new game that's very crisp, and they built it pretty damn well, and I, I I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't got a chance to play Infinite Warfare yet. I've been too busy on I, the remaster. I, and the thing is, is that I, I'm pretty sure you're going to like it, because I, I, yeah. be, these two games complement each other very well. Uh, I doubt I like the multiplayer, you, I'm just being honest. Uh, it, it's, it feels a little heavy, like a little slow, but it takes some getting used to. Yeah, And yeah. I'm still not used to it. I'll, I'll it's tell just you. for me, like well, if Call of Duty had always been jetpacks and stuff, maybe I'd be used to it. But to me, Call of Duty is like what it is on Modern Warfare. You know what I mean? It's like that's how it is. Like there's on, – on, I played the Infinite Warfare beta, and it's like you get these powers and then this, this weird like – futuristic gun it's like pew 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 and i'm just like geez are you serious yeah, but i mean the, the video games uh, video games evolve people right i mean the crap yeah. that's why you say that but i mean just like we went through the whole thing with the hardware discussion over years the same thing here i mean call of duty's been doing this every year for so long they really have to evolve the yeah. thing that we're, we're pinpointing against call of duty infinity ward sledgehammer and treyarch what we're saying is you guys need to, to go back to what you used to do. But if they spent the last 12 years doing the same thing with boots on the ground, you'd be like, guys, can you get with the times? Other games are flying around. You're still on the yeah. ground. And, here, and here's the thing. Remember how Call of Duty started off, you know, way back in the day, World War War II stuff, right? Right. And um, when they moved up to Modern Warfare, nobody complained. Everybody loved it. So um, you, I don't see how there's a problem whenever they move into the future. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think it's they, the I don't think it's the future per se as anything else. It's the the movement is what people don't like. People just like regular Call of Duty players will play on you know Saturn. It doesn't matter where it is. We just want boots on the ground. They don't want the jetpack flying around or running on the walls and all that kind of stuff. You know, they want traditional three lane maps. You know, and just one side going at the other side. That's I'll, what I'll is. say hey, that guys? the boots on the ground is most of the time though, because when I play Titanfall, yeah, Infinite or War, I play, for sure. yeah, yeah, because when I play Titanfall, I could I cannot touch the floor for for a very long time and kill lots of people. Uh, but in in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I've noticed that the the boost it's not very long. It's meant to just give you like an extra jump, I would say at the most. So it's not mm -hmm. even like you're hanging out attached to the wall like in Titanfall. And honestly, I'm gonna eat a little crow right now because I was pretty <laughs> much against Infinite Warfare from the get go because everything I seen called called to me it said like Black Ops Three, Black Ops Three, and I fucking hate Black Ops Three, right? So when I get went into Infinite Warfare and I played a good amount of the multiplayer, I was actually just playing it before we got in here um they did slow it down it feels yeah, more like a traditional it. cod um yeah there's still the boosting and still running on the wall and stuff like that but i really enjoyed what they did and how they slowed i was it down just gonna more. ask you that gkb because i was reading your tweets earlier today and you yeah, said something I like i was completely surprised man <laughs> that's really great to hear i mean let me tell you something like I want to also go back to what Food said a little while ago. I've played very little. I'll play a lot more tonight, so I'll be able to speak a lot more about it on MC Mornings and BGSC later this weekend. But to be honest with you, they are giving you a quality product. It goes back to that value we were talking about at the beginning yeah. of the show. I mean, you're getting a lot for your – this is 80 bucks, not 60 but you're getting three iterations, and I think this is the most polished to date. You're I haven't heard anybody – nobody's complaining about – the, the mechanics, nobody's complaining about the, the money that they put out of pocket for what they brought home. I think this may go down as one of the success stories for once with COD. You know, Mooch, yeah. when, when, when people were talking about, like, the future and, and running around and stuff like that, I believe K-Mega actually had that situation. He had a, the perfect solution. So, you know, shout out to K-Mega where you have the three different developers, one working on, like, you know, past one working on present, one working on future, and have those those development teams dedicated to those those kind of like timeline areas. 
and another thing when it comes to Call of Duty, I am sorry, guys. Like, I, you know, gameplay is, is number one and stuff like that. But I am not going to take them seriously until they freaking get a new engine for this game, you know? And actually, no, I agree. do I it. On, you know, bring it up to date. Like, you know, they what absolutely I'm need a new engine. You're absolutely correct. I, I, but I, I, I don't but think the they're thing interested is, in pushing the boundaries. Like crazy. No, they're interested in making yeah. money because it's Activision. Well, listen, listen, listen to what it, Southie just said. It. It's like, okay, do you need like? Here's my example. Do you need an Unreal Engine so you can play? Um, uh, Mario, you don't need that because the game runs well on its own, and they have the oh, engine don't that they need. So man. no, no, no. I'm that was the first thing that I that came to mind. <laughs> yeah. So like what I'm saying is is that they found an engine that works well with the mechanics that they want to present you, and they're gonna stick to it because it's working for them. Here's they're, the no, thing: they're gonna stick to it because they don't want to put down the money to make a new one. Let's be honest oh. here. Activision, yeah. they're going to try to make the most money and spend the least. You know what I'm saying? And with this being such a franchise that so many people buy, you know, take the time, put in the effort, put in the money to bring this shit up to date. You know, is what I'm saying. I that, mean, yeah, remember, that they used to use only two studios to make Call of Duty games, and the quality was starting to suffer, so they got a third one. So they did mm -hmm. technically spend money to make the quality of Call of and, Duty and better. I'll, I'll, I'll give them, I'll give them that. Now take. Uh, that I have to disagree with you on that. It was just taking a little bit longer to make the game. That's why they had yeah, to have a three-year yeah, dev cycle. Yeah, they have to redo all those assets and shit like mm -hmm. that. That's where it's gonna. But it's, it's, as, especially as, if they're building that shit from the ground up. As far you know, as like they're, they're using the same engine that they've been using for ten years now, so it's not like they did anything revolutionary. You know, they, know they've, got, they, they've, they've, they've got the, they've got the, the fucking engine down. Take any other hand. franchise and and let it be known, because because come on, guys, we're we're not casuals here. We're we're basically in the hardcore spectrum of gamers. Take any other franchise that has been going on as long as Call of Duty and have them use the same engine from how long ago? You mean to say that people aren't going to be like, well, damn, yo, it's time to upgrade, man. You well, know what I'm saying? I, I, to me, it's, it's about if the game is fun and if it plays well, and I, well, that, I believe that is, it does. That is I mean, the it number does. one part of it, but yo, I, I'm saying, like, uh, look out for the consumers as well. Show them that you're you're investing in a top product and, and you're making sure everything's up to date, you know, all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here's I the mean, thing. You know, I think both of you are right. Like, yeah, both are right. Points, but here, here's the thing about, like, I agree with. Here's why you're wrong. <laughs> no, yeah, they're right. both right. So, <laughs> you're no, nobody wrong. But here's, food's like, food's like gameplay is king. He's right. Gameplay is clean, and, and it fucking plays phenomenal. I'm yeah. I'm gonna agree with you 100. And where you know what Xbox is saying is is I think where he's going is when you look at the Source engine right now and you look how it plays, you can tell that the graphics are dated, even though it's heavily modified and all that other stuff. Where the effects and everything just aren't as great as you see in other games, and and that's due to the limiting factors of the Source engine and what they're using for for the COD games. And that's that's where we keep like every year it almost looks the same because I don't yeah. think they can push it as far and i think they just reached the limits of that the well, game I mean, they have that it's polished for sure yeah well you know it's like a old chick trying to get her boobs constantly re redone you know she's trying to pull them <laughs> bitches up but you know yeah. but, after, <laughs> but after a while you can't you, you can't get past the fact that them bitches is dropping yeah Man, you're gonna have to do something <laughs> Yeah, man, I'll tell you that, that you're both 100% right. I mean, you, that's something you can split right down the middle as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. But I do want to say one thing. The old slogan works here. If it's if it's not broke, broken, don't, don't fix it. Fix it. And, yeah. and that, that's really what it boils down to. They're making a lot of money, not even a little, a lot of money. Because you know, you know, since they are using the same engine and they're not putting any more money really into it that way. I mean, they're just buco bucks rolling in. Yo, Mooch, and, and this is this is nothing against anybody, but I, I noticed something with Call, with Call of Duty. Uh, before it comes out, everybody has so many complaints, and one Absolutely. of the biggest ones is the engine. But when the game comes out, yep, it just switches right around. Call, you, you know, know what? what? Call of Duty they has they a love-hate relationship with everybody. <laughs> the first two months is the fucking honeymoon stage. Well, After South, you that, everybody hates it. South, yep. you heard what I said like in the beginning. I was like, my, 
my streak is still intact, even though I am going to try it yeah, out. Yeah, but you're going to be playing it. You're going to be yeah. playing it. So you, you're yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that doesn't count, bro. It really does. You're, yeah, you, you, got, you got some kind of loophole going on in your household <laughs> over there. You know what <laughs> I mean? That's like, that's, like if, that's like if I said I'm waiting for the vault for Titanfall 2, but, you know, my neighbor Vince Pella might have a little party get together next Saturday night. You know what I mean? I'm playing over there. Yeah, so but, my point being is, is you got a loophole with your kid having the game. So uh, yeah, it's, um, it's how it's how us Italians do, man. We got a loophole. It's true. That is true. You got to have a loophole. There's always a loophole with <laughs> Italians. Um, yeah. Listen, like, I, I mean, go- oh yeah. No, I was just saying, Call of Duty's like that. Huh? Like she's like that. It's that hood chick, you know. You scream oh, at her in the street. <laughs> but when you get home, it's all lovey dovey. <laughs> I love it. I, love I know it. exactly what he's talking about, too. Uh, yeah. Well, I want to bring Crap's uh, expertise in here. Crap did a video on it. Crap, can you just give the audience a quick synopsis on what's going on with the whole HDR fiasco? I mean, we did have Microsoft introduce it to everybody first at uh, E3. And like you said in your video, it was uh, basically shit on or just passed to the side by the media. Now that the pro's coming out and doesn't have true native 4K for all its games, HDR's become it's uh, brought up to the forefront. Um, what are you hearing, and wh- why don't Xbox One games have the same HDR capabilities? Uh, well, I, I I don't really know. Like, here's the this is what got me interested in it because people are like, "Hey, man, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is HDR on PS4." So I'm looking at the list of confirmed HDR supported games on Xbox mm-hmm. One S. Yeah. It's Battlefield One, Deus Ex. Forza Horizon 3, yeah. Gears 4, NBA 2K17. Yep. That's it. Yep. No Call of Duty. But you, I thought in your video you said that, and it could have been rumor or I could have been just hallucinating because I was listening to it driving home from work. Um, is it on the horizon? Oh, didn't didn't they say they were going to mm-hmm. well, institute no. it? For, yeah, well, well, what's that? They're going to give X, uh, Xbox One S will get HDR eventually for Call of Duty. Uh, they didn't say. Okay, they so there's no, there's no word. Yeah, they they've only announced it, and things like Mafia Three is HDR on PS4. Um, is you know this what PS4 I mean? vanilla or PS4 Pro? Well, the, the thing is, it's just they just say PS4. You know what I mean? Like, yes, right. PS4 Pro, but Black Ops Three got the update for uh, HDR a while ago. There's a you know lot of I mean? people, like I said, there's a lot of people that we all know that, that I know personally that are using HDR on their PS4 Slim or their vanilla PS4. Yeah. And listen, it's not working, okay? It's not working. I was seeing um, that today. I was seeing people kind of complaining about that. But yeah, um, yeah. So, so it's weird that everywhere you look, it's like, oh, well, this is getting HDR and this is getting HDR, but it's always PS4. And then when I look at... Uh, you know, the Xbox stuff, there's nothing. I think somebody asked Phil Spencer about that today when he was on Twitter. And yeah. Phil was like, kind of just like PR speak about it. So, so, so I, I, I would hope, like, I don't know, like they're pushing it, but it seems like Sony are the ones that get all the credit for it, I guess. You know, and like the developers actually, it seems like if the developers just favor Sony or they just, for whatever reason, they're just putting HDR on that stuff. And I don't get it. You know what I mean? It seems like all the stuff on Xbox. This HDR, for the most part, is like first-party stuff, you know? So I don't know. What's the nonsense around that? Southie, do you know anything about that? I haven't heard anything, dude. You know, the thing that kills me about it is just that I, I think it's 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 another case of, like, where this is – it. I told you, it's not – you know, I started my whole campaign a long time ago where I thought it was just, you know, just the gaming media. But why aren't the developers taking the extra few minutes? I mean, Xbox One, you can say, well, Mooch – you know, back in the day, you'd say Xbox Ones aren't selling so well, so they're not going to put the extra time and effort into. But the Xbox One S is kicking ass and taking names. Mm-hmm. Why? Why wouldn't you give that customer the same thing? Or even if you know you've been working on it, because Sony has been probably pushing these people from a while back to get that going. For yeah, the pro. just because the Xbox has you know won the last three months doesn't mean you know okay now it's you know tables have turned. You know right. what I mean? So. Right. Developers, they want to see a little bit more before they, you know, it's there's action to it. Well, GKB, let me ask you then, how just how much? And I know you're saying you don't know the the answer to this specifically, right. but what, how much work actually goes into? Isn't it just a certain amount of code? It's not like you're developing yeah. a game all over again. No, no. I mean, you'd have to write in the HDR feature and all that stuff. Um, get it credited through Xbox and stuff. But, I mean, if they're already building the code for the PS4 and with dev kits as they are right now, it's a really simple transition, yeah, especially the same way. architecture and all that kind of stuff now. So I, I just, 
I don't know why. I, it's just lazy development, as we've seen all through this generation so far. They, they have to write in the HDR, the HDR feature, and they have to write in the additional colors as well. This is what they well, got. They do. can patch in that yeah, stuff the in the range. PS4 vanilla. <laughs> and why can't yeah, they uh, patch that in? Yeah, that's, my, that's my question. Are they <laughs> patching that in for the PS, PS4 vanilla? Like uh, for, uh, they are apparently. Like so, look, if, whether it's an in, whether it's an <laughs> yeah, filter or whatever. But you know what I mean? It's not like <clears throat> HDR, like what the Xbox One S has or what the PS4 Pro has, but it's apparently doing something. I don't here, here's yeah, what happened. Yeah, here's no, what happened. Well, go ahead. My bad. The developer, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do a funny here. Uh, the developers saw Sony's financials and they all came together like a union and they're like, yo, we got to <laughs> save PlayStation. And so that's why they're, they're doing all the HDR features on the PS4 side and kind of letting the tumbleweed go by on the Xbox. That's my theory. Right. That's I mean, like, that's a crazy theory. <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of Nicolas Cage. It's like, I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Like, yeah. the, the only thing that makes sense is like, all right, like this is, this is the scenario I would think that makes sense. It's like, all right, maybe they, if it's an easy patch for HDR, they do the same thing for Xbox One S and the PlayStation Slim or whatever, right? But if it's something more complicated, I guess like the Pro, Maybe they just feel like, all right, what's the point of, you know, really patching this in if it's not going to see the full benefits? Maybe, maybe that's what their thought process is. And they're just like, you know, Pro is more powerful, all this shit. So we'll just do it for that. And then we'll wait until Scorpio comes out and then we'll go back and rehash that. See, the problem now, see, if that's the case live, and I'm glad you brought that up. If that ends up being the case, then Sony really, what I thought Sony wouldn't get a victory lap, they're going to get a victory lap because then the next 10 to 12 months, become crucial because now they have a box out that's stronger. They have a box out that's doing something that the other, you can't have 250 HDR games on PS4 pro and, and 35 on the Xbox one S you know what I mean? Like you start to separate yourself again. And by the time the Scorpio comes out, I don't want to say it's too little too late. Cause it's not, but it, it's another, it's another like hurdle that Xbox has to like take on that. That Sony doesn't. I, don't, I just don't really see, like, if you're a developer and you're already building code and you have a game that's a multiply game, yeah. why not just do it now? Why would you do all the work for just one part, then wait a year to do the next part? That just doesn't make much sense to me, honestly. <clears throat> yeah, that's that, that was my point, GK, but that's why I wanted you to kind of answer to it. And I'm not putting you in the hot seat because it's not something you do on a day-to-day -day basis, but it, it holds no, but water. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I just, I, I don't understand it, man. It's, it's really insane, in my opinion. I, <laughs> I don't know what they're. It's every, just every time, every time you turn around, it just looks like Xbox is the kid that has to go to school and back, walking uphill both ways. I'm just saying. Yeah. You ever, you ever notice that? That's like, what it. That's what it does seem like a lot of the times. It just seems. It just always seems like we're we're jumping over another hurdle. It is what it is, you know, folks. I think um, you know, Southie and Southie will be back. I'll tell you, South had said, you know, we only won three months. I think we're gonna win four uh, very mm -hmm. shortly. Uh, and then the questions will be November, December, and see what really, really Good transpires. Good luck winning five, dude, to the media blitz. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, know, I don't it's, know if you've seen it, but, I mean. Oh, it's out everything, there. Yeah, everything's PS4 Pro. Everybody got a free one in the media. Yeah. Everyone's like, here's this update. Uh, Ratchet and Clank getting an update. Uncharted Digital getting Foundry an update. Foundry doing their do damage control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Digital well, Foundry's like, look at this still picture versus this still picture. Well, see how much better the 4K looks? Oh, my you goodness. Know what I mean? Come on. Digital yeah. Foundry, yo, know, this this show is not complete without somebody saying Digital Foundry and me just putting my my face in my hand for a second, just like God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yeah. But yo, crap, not for anything. I I do take a little a little solace in in the fact that um with with Sony, they can't sell anything off anymore in terms of a company or anything like that <laughs> to kind of cover any any losses or anything like that. So now Dude, you're you're gonna they're see they're extremely a lot more. they're extremely bare bones because they oh, already sold right. off Vio, they sold off their stake in the LCD plant, they sold off another plant in Nitra, um, some other place in Japan, I forget what it's called, another place that they have in Nagasaki or wh whatever, however it's pronounced over there. Um, they sold off uh one of their divisions i forget what exactly what it sold is off they a sold battery off. division the battery division there you go they so, they sold off their their phone anything. division um to the the ericsson correct or they bought it off that's what it was it cost a lot of money um they're they're spending money uh like crazy mm -hmm. and they are selling off divisions they're becoming smaller and smaller so if any error that does happen is rather than it being like a small a small uh, error 
because they're so big, they're so massive, they won't feel it. It'll take the blow. Now that they're becoming slimmer and slimmer, there's no room for error. So there, it's really fascinating. It, it, over time, uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, something else that I noticed is that they're actually, I don't know if you guys have noticed or read about it or checked it out in their financials, but they're actually spending, um, they're doing their best to spend, outspend Xbox by 100% in, um, what is it, advertising this holiday. So they're they're trying to make sure no matter what it is that Xbox spends that they want to outdo the do them two to one. Yeah, Man. I heard the marketing money is going to be like through the roof for Sony. They're really did Yoshida get like a. Oh, a they're going to push it in pro, or I'm, I'm just saying, like I don't I don't know what that. From. I don't know where they're coming from with that, and I mean, you know, listen, it sounds like you're beat. We all beat a dead horse, but it's just another situation where, for some reason, you know, a lot of people say, "Well, Microsoft's competitors, not Sony. Their, their competitors, Amazon, or not? Excuse me, yeah, Amazon and Apple and Google and all that great stuff." And don't get me wrong, ultimately, that's that's very very true. But I mean, when it comes down to it, I mean, I just don't understand. Sony's in such financial despair. Like people are like, well, Sony's gonna outspend Mike. Outspend like the, the the idea of this sentence. I can't. I couldn't even write it and hit send. Sony's gonna outspend Microsoft two to one in marketing. That doesn't even make sense. You know what I mean? That's like that's like your your nephew's gonna outspend you. Like how's that? How's he gonna, <laughs> he's got a paper route. <laughs> well, you know when I mean? Microsoft, they were asked. Larry Herb got interviewed today, and they asked him about why microsoft hasn't been doing more third-party deals with with time content and stuff and he goes well it's all about what would you rather have would you rather have some time content or an elite controller you know so would you rather have an exclusive or some time content you know i mean i think it's yeah. you know they aren't they aren't unlimited with their funds they do have some kind of budget and so i mean it just we, we, we either have to deal with that aspect or not but that's just it looks yeah. like uh you know, i would say you know crap i like on. I like what they're doing with spending their money, man. I, I, I love my elite controller. I, I love like the new IPs, the exclusives, you know, coming down the line and everything like that. I, I me personally, I know it might be a, a different, uh, a, there might be a different side to it on the business side, but me as a gamer, I love playing the sunset overdrives. I love looking forward to scale bound for when that comes out. I, I love what 343 did with uh, Halo 5 and what they're doing with that franchise. I like how Microsoft is spending their money on exclusives and, and yep. stuff like the Elite Controller, man. I agree with the uh, Xbox 100%. Like, I'd rather just Microsoft just keep doing what they're doing, stay true to the course, and yes. uh, us as gamers are going to be benefiting well, from that. Let hey, me, let did, me. Did you, Boosh, did you hear about the 10th anniversary Gears pack? Uh, apparently, <laughs> yeah, I like, just, that's... Yeah, that's, I just read uh, about it. What's the deal? Yeah, Gary, Gary Carmine is coming to the multiplayer. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, you can't buy these. You the, you got to buy the packs. They're two hundred credits. Okay, well that's all right. So it's in game. So, I mean, yeah, it's in game. You can only get it in game. So that's a low amount of credits, at least. Yeah, right. shit, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've gotten I've gotten a hundred credits for a map before. So like, there's him and there's different Carmine weapons and stuff like that. So hopefully. Uh, yeah, hopefully. I mean, I can just imagine getting the same shit over and over again. But uh, yeah, at least that's not twenty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they turn the corner. Maybe like they're gonna start changing things up from now on, like you said, man. Right. Well, let me do this. Say, uh, you know, food. Food just wrote me. Food, are you still here? Yeah, buddy, I'm still here. Well, I just want to say, uh, food does have to uh, jet out early. I wanna. I don't. Wanna, I wanna let everyone know uh, he's got a appointment somewhere else but let me tell you this much food thanks for coming on bro you stay as long as you want or if you got to bounce you can bounce but uh i want everyone to kind of get a chance to we, we haven't got a chance to rehash some some memories and shit like that and i know you asked to play some halo of course you went into your halo mode right when 85 new games are coming out <laughs> um, yeah, right. so, um you know there's always uh, room for halo 5 man. always room for some halo 5 but listen bro thank you for coming on the show food it, it was awesome to chat with you i love what you're doing with your channel and uh, keep Thank in touch you. with me, will you? Definitely. I sure will. Thanks for having me on. Everybody th on the panel, you guys did great. It was fun listening to you guys and talking to you for a little bit. Uh, everybody watching, make sure you stick around. It's a good show. And make sure <laughs> yeah, we're about you to lose all of, our, all, all of our audience because food's leaving. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> everybody has to have food. Okay. I mean, with that awesome, <laughs> that, that awesome avatar right there from... That the is Jay Africa. Williams. Yo, Jay Williams job. knocked that right out of the park, dude. Apparently, apparently uh, food was fussy with it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I wanted a spatula. 
<laughs> he was like, I need a spatula. I need a spatula. <laughs> gotta have, gotta have right, more guys, spatula. All right, I'll catch you See later, you, brother. Bro. Peace. Uh, but I do want to kind of get back into what uh, I think it was Xbox. And by the way, everyone, uh, Southie will be right back. South had to take care of something at home. Um, but someone said uh, Microsoft sticking true and keeping to it. With that being said, crap, there was a tweet that came out a couple of days ago. And so maybe it was even you. And you're like, there's like 220 back compact games. And Mikey Barr was like, no, it's actually. It was Tim Dog. Tim was like 250 oh, backwards compatible. And, Mike, and Mikey Barr was like, uh, it's 280. Yeah, right. He's like, no, let's get that straight. And here we are. We have Blue Dragon. Um, all these like fan favorite games are starting to, to come out now, right? So what do you guys think about that? I mean, are you guys excited about this? I think that I think the excitement for me is high in the back and pat. The problem is, is when people ask me right now, Mooch, are you pumped about backwards compatibility? I say I am, but unfortunately, I'm not playing old games right now. That's well, me. That's hey, a me it's, thing. It's an yeah. interesting topic because right now, we're actually, believe it or not, we're only coming up on the first anniversary um of the of actually getting backwards compatibility right. and uh november titles are actually going to include top requests as uh per Phil tweeted out there yeah. spencer yeah so their My top Marvel fan requests capcom. are going to be included that's I, yeah, I'm, so, waiting, I'm waiting for Marvel vs. capcom my bad dude that's, that's what you I'm know gonna, what? it's hard to believe it's hard to believe though almost 300 in a year mm -hmm. and i know like we've had it i've had it longer if you're on the dashboard preview you had it much longer but mm -hmm. honestly, the full thing has only been out a year. That is wild, right? Because we were saying, what do you think they're yeah. going to have in a year? And everyone's like, maybe 100? They have yeah. almost 300. Yeah. You're going to have 300 games. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. And I mean, a lot of them are the big budget games, too, to say the most part. Yeah. And I think I think Jamie Moran's going to be happy. I can I can see Mass Effect uh, 2 and 3 being yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. I can so. see like, the Marvel vs. Capcom. I know for a fact yes. that Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 2 are going to be yes. in there. Yep. Uh, so I, I mean, there's, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff, and it's going to be pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like, there's they're doing stuff that uh, Sony just can't do. They can't do the backwards compatibility stuff. You know what I mean? Like, their half-assed Red Dead Redemption is through PlayStation Now. Yeah. You know, hey, we're adding it now. You know, to PlayStation Now. You know, and you have so to buy like, it. Yeah, you have to pay. Yeah. And Whereas you have to I, pay. Like, I already had it, so. Right, and you have to pay top dollar. I mean, the other thing that kind of came out in the news this. Week too that kind of just like mix into this Xbox uh, plethora of goodness is that Phil Spencer came out and said he's not going to be doing updated new hardware every two yeah. years, and there was a lot of people concerned about that crap. I think you were one of them initially, not now, but well, initially. Well, yeah, like I, I was like that would be stupid. Like here's the thing, I'm extremely happy just right now with how things are. The amount of games I don't know if I've ever been like I'm smiling. I, there's a good mix of games like yeah. Titanfall two. I'm having a blast. Battlefield one. I'm having a blast. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster. Blast. Like the smile hasn't left my face. Like I'm having a damn good yeah. time. And so I think we yeah, all get caught up on. with this stupid hardware stuff. Talking about stuff like T flops and this and that. It's like a bunch of crap that most people didn't care about. Resolution. Now you see resolution doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? Like people are pretending like they didn't even care. Yeah. Hey, you know what I mean? Yeah. When when it when it comes to uh, Phil Spencer yeah. saying that that they're not coming out with consoles uh, every two years, I actually have a, a quote from him. And uh, if you don't mind, I want to read it real quick, and Go ahead. I want to I see if you see what I see here. He says, "I'm not trying to turn consoles into the graphics card market, where every so often Nvidia or AMD come out with a new card." And here's the here's the kicker right here. And if I want a little bit more performance a little bit i'm going to go buy that new card i think for consoles it's different i think you have to hit a spec that actually means something in an ecosystem of televisions and games if you notice he said a little bit of performance kind of like a half step kind of like um dare i say and i know he doesn't you know he doesn't talk shit but dare i say a ps4 pro yeah, you, you see what I'm saying there? Yeah, like I, that, do, I that was do. kind of a little, a little bit of a dig there. Kind of like, no, we're gonna do it when the spec actually means something. We're not gonna take this little half step. Well, here. when you take that information that you just read and you kind of add it to the few other tidbits that Phil has said, that's what led people to know that now I would say that it's a safe bet that Scorpio is gonna be using the the Vega and the and the Zen. Oh yeah, and. I mean, that kind of goes without saying. And I mean, that's why I also think that, you know, crap said this right after we did our E3 reviews on my channel. We were like, well, what do you think we're going to get in Scorpio? And everyone was just saying 666. And I think crap was like, you think Phil's going to come out and say the max spec a year and a half ahead of time? That's probably going to end up at 6.7, 6.8, could even push seven. Uh, I don't you know, who cares? My point being is six is plenty, but 
they're not going to come out and just say six, and then it's going to be six point zero zero. You know what I mean? So I yeah. mean, this thing's going to be this is going to yeah, be a you, beast. You, you never you never hear it being just a flat out number. It's never it's a always flat six point number. Something you know, six it's always point three, point six point six, six yeah. point seven. You know, I mean, it, they're, they're going to overclock it no matter what. So you know, they're... what the hell does that mean? What do you got, crap? I had some kind of pop-up thing on my computer, and I'm like, what the, I'm like, what the hell is that music? Hey, you look at too much porn, brother. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you know, shit. There nobody, it is. Uh, hey, nobody, nobody does that on their PC anymore. Come on, guy. Hey, I know you ain't doing it on your Windows phone. That's your VR. That's a oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, oh. oh yeah, dude. Who wouldn't, man? Come that's on. What the, that's what that VR is for, right? Yo, speaking of... Speaking of Windows Phone, I I didn't tell you guys my fifteen twenty got run over. Ooh. Congratulations! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, 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 that was the best thing they ever hit. Amen. Dude, uh, Amen. No, dude, I, have, I have insurance on it, and I'm, I'm actually uh, like th this next week. Within the next couple of weeks, I'm going over to the Microsoft store and and getting a brand new one. So uh, just just a heads up, and I don't need to tell you this four four eight, but oh snaps is not leaving that iPhone. Ah, oh, dude. It's a wrap. Half dude, your I house is you. Apple. I curse you every day. Because I know you do. <laughs> I, got her, I got her hooked on that Apple phone. Oh, my. She's doing bit emojis and this and that. She's like, oh, look, fireworks in the messages. Can you do you that? Sal like, well, no, Southie's like, using up, Android. Yeah. Southie's using Android. Yeah, I'm an Android. <laughs> but, I mean, I can see Southie moving the iPhone if we had to move them over. Uh, never. Never. Oh, come on, brother. Never. Cupertino, you couldn't pay Cupertino's me. Cupertino's so close to you. Hey, you can you can pay me to use an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, bro. Hey, I, I'd oh, rather man. go back like to one of his phones. He, he's he's like, like, I need the freedom. I gotta have my freedom. Yeah, I gotta get my. Gotta, hey, what is that? Hey, I like I like the per, you know what I mean the personalization of Android. You got it, brother. You know, oh, man, hey, I, iPhones are just Shit. they're a dime a dozen. Everyone looks the same. Dare we say casual? Background picture. Pick it up. You pick it up, and it works. That's all I give a shit. That shit. The <laughs> phone is the phone is going from a toy to a necessity. And when I pick up other necessities now, like my lawnmower, don't look great. But when I pull that shit, it works. Okay. My point is, is when I pick up my iPhone, that shit works, and that's what I need. You know what I mean? Like poor crap, crap. Me and crap couldn't even fucking direct message each other for the first two years I known him. He's like, my Windows phone just don't do that. And I'm like, come on, man. You can direct like, message from Twitter, but you can't do the group message. Oh, group. That yeah, was the, yeah. Group. It was the group texting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when my friends all had iPhones and I had that big ass uh, fucking Motorola phone. And Cass was like, "Oh man, that's a big fucking phone. That shit is fucking big." And then all of a sudden, the iPhone get that big ass screen. Yeah, and, and, and now it's great. And now like, it's Yo, the best look at my thing phone. The what the you just talked about my phone like two years ago. Well, <laughs> yeah, like two years ago, now it's cool to be. Hey, hey how many people complained? Oh, you can't fit that in your pocket. It's like, so what? It's supposed to be in your hand the fucking whole time, anyways. It's true. It's true. I do, I will say that I would still be using a flip phone if it were, if I oh, if it still worked. Oh, here we go. Old, ah, old man, shit. crap. <laughs> you got a that, that, like, yeah. that, that Motorola case, Razor, man. In case you guys are wondering what crap's gonna be doing in about forty years, just go watch Home Alone. He's the old guy next door who's like shoveling salt. <laughs> 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 Fucking angry as hell. But uh, no, <laughs> no. Uh, all all. Hey, wait, what, what what is that flip phone for old people? Uh, they always had the commercials for. Uh, it, it has no song to it. It's like butterfly, but or some shit like that. <laughs> that must it be has the big ass West buttons Coast. on it. I don't know. You South shit over here. It seems to be Yo, catching your so attention, nice. man. I, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I need a big <laughs> ass flip phone. With big Have numbers. you ever ran into somebody with a flip phone talking about, I need directions? They'd be like, all right, let me see your phone. They pull up a flip phone. You're like, oh, dude, you fuck. <laughs> 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 like, am... Live wire just points like... to the left. You, you got to go over there somewhere. And bug up. Hey, that's what that's what guys do. They just point yeah. whatever direction. They, hey, go you got to go back that way, five blocks, and then take a right. <laughs> You know what I mean? That way you don't look like an asshole. Hey, you but know he, what? I bet you, I bet you, gas stations are much more happier now that like damn near every phone has directions and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You remember, I, it, everybody it, it, used well, to have to stop at a gas station and be like, "I'll get directions from the I, gas." Station. I still now, get fucking that lost. Was, I can't figure out how to work the because you got a fucking uh, Windows phone. No, but it does. It works. Like it has that whole it like. Works. 
Yeah, it has all that like it works fancy, sometimes. You know, tells you and, take a left. No, I know I had it. <laughs> it works had. sometimes. Like, yeah, uh, sometimes that bitch be pointing to you, you to go to. <laughs> like yo, I, I have a Windows phone, man. One time it was like, yeah, you gotta go to the store. It's right over here. Sends you down this fucking long ass road. There's a big ass fence up. It's like, yeah, it's on the other side of the fence. You gotta get over there. Well, the fucking fence here. How the fuck am I supposed to get there? Oh well, we didn't. So we'll try I, to drive we to just the showed fence. you the quickest yo, way to get here. Wi- Windows phone slow. Like Night Rider. Windows Phone slogan should be sixty percent of the time it works all the time. Hey, I use that. I use that all the time, man. That works, right? That works great, man. I don't. I don't care what anybody says. And hold on, hold on, Mooch. You you might be drooling a little bit when the Surface team makes oh, we'll the, see. the next phone. You yeah, see we'll what I'm saying? They, they listen, got a lot of work. They got, they got a lot, lot of, work. of work, and they got a lot of negotiations to make. Because listen, the, the thing about that, the thing that makes it a phone strong is its app store. That's it's the whole apps, thing right now. Yep. It's the apps. Hey, so, Windows, Windows, Windows phone would be a lot stronger if it had yes. the apps like like everything else. Yeah, well, let's else. let's Windows, be honest. Uh, Apple iPhone. and Apple and Android, they're they're like the Sony of of the phones. You know what I mean? Like developers are no, going to cater. Are. No, they are. Yeah, yeah developers yeah. are going to cater to them, and and that's just the way it is. It's true you know? crap. No, crap mentioned that to me a long time ago. Yeah. The first time he did it, you know, I was what? just sitting here like, I, uh-uh, I, I, uh-uh, I have to admit, now I'm like, yeah, I'm buying that. When, when, well, Windows Phone was was popular, you know, like uh, the the original Windows Phone, uh, not not the like seven, the one but the prior. Man, th- those things like the Touch Pro two, I used to, I had all the Touch Pros. Well, you know, listen, um, well, and then Windows Seven came out, and I I actually I thought it, it worked like flawless. Well, and everybody had apps and emojis and well, I got a fix and everything else. South, you just let us perfectly into the segue of anything. You know that, that you mentioned the dead product, and the other dead product we should talk about is is PSVR. Uh, uh-huh. anybody, <laughs> is anybody talking about that anymore? No, it's dead. I was just gonna cool. say the same thing. Yeah, yeah, you're not hearing much about it, are we? No, oh. it's awesome, man. They're all in VR <laughs> live. Oh. <laughs> live. Yo, but listen. Here's my point. The, here's the thing, South. Let me let me address your, your 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 question real quick. The reason we're not hearing about it is there's no games. Like everybody that was like South, you got to try it. It's a great experience. A great experience. <laughs> come on, man. Like get out of here. I don't want to come home after. I worked really. Like, today was a long day. So man. is taking a shit, Mooch. So is exactly. Crying. Exactly. <laughs> Be lighter you know? afterwards. You know. Like, I don't want. And, but they're like, Yo, Mooch, you need to check this out. So I went and watched. No, I did not get a chance to play because for some reason, I you could try the uh, Oculus at my local store and you can try the Vive, but they don't have a PSVR up. But my point is, they're like, so check out the Batman. You get game. I herpes anyway. Yeah, now Whoa, with that article herpes. coming out, Shit. yeah, with that article coming out, I'm, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> but uh, I'm saying, like, who the hell busting nuts on that one? That's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that was like a news story, South. That they said uh, because people, you know, think about it. There, you can get pink eye and all that other shit. So that I sounds guess like I, the scene out of uh, that movie Brothers. He just puts his dick on his fucking PS PS. Oh, he drops his balls on his drums. Step brother, yeah. But the thing about the PSVR is the games are not games; they are experiences. It's like you're Batman. Pick this up, move over, and put it down. Now get out. And you're like, what? That's a game? That's a hundred dollars plus a six hundred dollars set. Like, you know, we were talking about. Well, a so, of- so Sony refused to uh, to talk the numbers of their VR as well when they did their financial report. They're well, just we- like, it's doing, it's doing good. It's on it's track. Good. It's on track. Yeah, it's on track. Yeah. Listen, oh, and you know but, what? But if, but if Xbox says that shit, then no, oh, here right. we are dodging numbers again. Yep. Because well, they're losing. Because yep. they're yep. losing. Xbox. <laughs> anyway, so my point is, is that's true. And the other thing is, is a lot of people, a couple of people, the Xbox guys that all follow every one of us. I had to put one of our, one of our, our I think he was a Mooch Maniac too. I had to set the guy straight today. He's like, well, Mooch, I guess we were wrong. And he puts an article clip that says Amazon was like, we're all out of PS4 Pros. You can't get them till after Christmas. I'm like, man, they only sold 50 of them. I'm like, it doesn't mean shit. Like, it does, just because they're out of them, they're having crap reported this like two weeks ago, and it has o- only been picked up steam. And the media was talking about it for a little while, but then they dropped it. They're having production problems. They don't have a lot of pros to sell, which is what's going to put Sony in trouble for November and December because I think they're just not going to have enough to sell. And then the Xbox One S is going to kick ass the entire holiday. 
Well, Look, they're, well, they're making it seem like the demand yeah, is so high. Yeah, that's like exactly demand. it. That's exactly it. They're, 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 they're trying to fake a demand. You yeah, know, it's it, fake. It, it, it ain't Elmo, motherfucker. PSVR, ain't everybody knows that shit is trash. <laughs> Yeah. So you can't like so it just makes more sense just to have a limited supply. Well, Cuz only like like only the die hard die hards are like yes. yo this shit is amazing. I can't see fucking anything. <laughs> but this shit is this shit is amazing. Cuz you know what it is? A lot of people that I'm hearing that are saying it looks great wear fucking glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so how the fuck do you know? Like I used VR before, and that shit, it fucks with you when you can't see shit from a distance. Especially if you have good eyesight. You can't see the shit from a distance, so you're, like, constantly squinting, like, why the fuck can't I focus on the shit that's not really... It's only, like, 13 feet, you know, further yes. back than what I'm trying to look at. But, you know, they don't talk about that shit. No, no. The well, thing well, about guys, it, go ahead. When, when, go it, ahead, when it comes back... when it. Uh, talking about the PlayStation 4 Pro and, and selling and stuff like that, this is something that Sony does. I was working at GameStop the beginning of this generation, right? Um, and we got the original PS4s in. We we did not get a lot of them at all, and we were actually told by our supervisor to say, yeah, they're flying off the shelves beginning of the generation, you know, from the launch and stuff like that. Um, like, we would be lucky to have 20 of them in in the actual store at any given time. So when it was out, it's like, yeah, no, we're all sold out, man. We got to put you on a list and stuff like that. The supervisor was actually getting us to hype up the demand for it as well. Now it's sold, it's sold decently. Trust me, yeah. it, you know, throughout time, but in mm -hmm. the beginning, right at the launch, like we were actually told by our supervisors at GameStop to, to hype up the demand and we weren't getting a lot in the store. So well, you don't think about this. So now, if you're a Sony diehard, like Live was just saying, and you're that you're the consumer that Sony's really targeting right now is the Sony diehards. You're gonna walk out uh, this week. You're gonna buy a, a PS4 Pro for four hundred dollars, and then you're gonna get a five or six hundred dollars set for a PSVR. You're gonna go home and you're gonna be like, "What the fuck did I just spend a thousand dollars on?" <laughs> like you're not getting anything. Listen, HDR is great, right? I mean, South. I don't. I don't want to put words in your mouth, South. But it was somebody that I know. I was talking to, I could have swore it was you. You said, listen, the HDR on Gears is really nice. It is really nice. But you're like, to be honest with you, Gears looks fucking beautiful without HDR. Okay. So my, yeah, it does. Right? No, it does. So what I'm saying is, is HDR a selling point? I think it's one of the very crucial things the Xbox One S can do, but it's not the selling point. Like for me personally, I have a 4K TV, but I bought it before the HDR crave. So I on my on my big screen in the basement I don't have HDR and upstairs I don't have so you don't have I HDR? don't have HDR but that doesn't mean I'm not enjoying 4K uh, gears or 4K Forza downstairs you know what I mean like I'm still enjoying it in 4K my point being is that people are going out with the Pro right now and now Sony and the media are pushing HDR because they have no games if you're like Mooch you're full of shit there's a 45 game list that came out crap read some of them earlier yeah those are games we already played like you're gonna go buy for when you buy new hardware you want new software. So who exactly? Who, yeah, who's excited right now to play The Last of Us remaster, remastered with a smash of HDR on me, the PS4 me, Pro? I want to play it. <laughs> yo, you know, Mooch, Mooch, yo, even Phil What's Spencer up? said like that their, their best customer is is the customer that buys the Xbox One, whether it's right. the original, and buys all the games. The software, right. it, he said, from a financial standpoint, that tells you right there something that we've all been preaching for I don't know how long. Hardware is to get the software in the home. Software right. is where they that's make where the, the that's money. That's where the money. Yep, that's where the money is exactly. at. Exactly. And they it, don't. It's yo, not. Hey, because listen, listen, Ooh, you you got you got what two three Xboxes in your house? I get two Xbox Ones. Okay, so I mean, you don't buy. Two two sets of games every time you 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 go Absolutely out and buy a game, not. right? No. Okay, we'll see. They'd rather you have one Xbox, and you know, and, and instead of having three or four Xboxes and only buy one copy of the game, you know what I mean? Right. They, yeah, they, absolutely. They, 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 they they want they want people to buy. You know, if now if you have kid, you know, the kids are gonna play, so you buy more than one copy. Right. That that that's where the you know. Yeah, that's see, now, now I'm I'm gonna be walking into what what South's talking about in the next year to two years. My son's already asking for his own Xbox Live account, so you know that 
that may be coming down the pipeline real soon. Once all this stuff starts to come about, I can see where I, well, I don't know. I should be asking Xbox 448. Like you don't have to buy two. If you buy digitally, he can play that on his account, right? We can just tie the accounts together on the same home. Yeah, Something yeah, like you, you can do the home. Yeah, you can do the home. You can do the sharing. Master, master Xbox, uh, your the master consoles. You just switch. Um, you make your the your home. console yeah. like his his home console, and vice versa, and you'll right. be able to share digital games. Okay, so, and that, that that's my point. So I don't need to buy two copies. No, you don't no. need to. No, no. But but Xbox would like you to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because that's where the money is. It is where the money is. I mean, uh, people always say to me, they're like, Mooch, how can you say that when you don't know what Scorpio is? Listen, Scorpio is going to release I get, with minimum either Scalebound or Crackdown 3, and it's going to be, like, built for Scorpio. It has to be Crackdown. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I say it has to be Crackdown. Hey, so you were saying for, like, people that have, like, four Xboxes in there, they want you to buy, like, two copies and, and all that, right? That's that right, right, right. Well, what the fuck, Phil? I'm putting your kids through fucking college. I got four fucking <laughs> Xboxes, and I he can't does. Get a fucking follow. What the fuck? <laughs> well, he is. He's hey, got you, you, you won't get a follow with all those f bombs. I will tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's making me do it, bro. He's, it's true. Yeah, he's he don't curse, but you don't know. Phil, Phil's. Um, let me answer this then. You have four Xbox Ones. Does everybody in your house have individual accounts? GKB. Yes. Okay, but you're all tied together. Yeah, She Wolf and I like uh, game share and stuff because we play more of the adult games. The kids play the other games, but I still got, you know, I got to buy the kids' games. I got to buy our games and, you know, right. all that kind of stuff. So, yo, you know what? H have they put HDR with fucking Sunset Overdrive? They should. Because that will make a lot of fucking that sense. That game, oh, I, yeah. somebody had said hey, something hey, on Twitter that that would give like, somebody a seizure. Is it me or is there a lot of people talking about Sunset Overdrive? Yo, Sunset oh, yeah. Overdrive is being talked a lot. It seems, about it, it it seems be. like it's having like a renaissance or something. Yes, like it, it is. You know, even even more than when they put it on uh, uh, Xbox Free with Gold. Because a lot of people are buying the console and buying that game because it's super cheap. Yeah, you're botting you crap, just, but I want to hear your take on it. Crap is underwater. Uh, yeah, he's botting. He's Listen. Southie, I'll be honest with you. If there's any way you can keep plugging away, uh, 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 honestly, I think that the the what is it, Sunset Overdrive Two is the only game this generation that came out new IP that I would absolutely kill for to get a sequel. Mooch, Mooch you absolutely can actually kill for it with, with Chaos Squad. The and, you, online, and you know what? Online part of it, you could still get into games because uh, I just recently went back hey. into it, man. Well, and. It, it, I would think that Insomniac would love to make another. Yes, sunset. they would. Yes, they because would. Because look, what are they coming out with right now? I mean, besides the, the Spider-Man game, Deep of the Sea, and that other garbage. <laughs> they got shit they're making for fucking GameStop. You know yeah, what I mean? So, I, I think they would love Phil hey, to get on the horn and say, "Listen, yeah, listen, I, I, I want you guys to start work on Sunset 2. Listen, let me give you guys a good like example, too, okay? I like to have Rise as well. I know Crytek and all that kind oh, of stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I want to know what happened. I want to know behind closed doors what happened between Xbox and Crytek. I, uh, I mean, I know Crytek, you know, had all their financial difficulties. Maybe that went south with Don. But, maybe him and Don, Donnie got into an argument or something. Who knows? Yeah, well, I, I want to know because still, to everybody's opinion... Rise was the best looking game, period. No, just tell Phil to send some hookers over there. Something. <laughs> something. You need Yo, that game. Listen, I'll be honest with you. I know a lot of people always go back and forth with either Rise or Sunset. The reason my vote goes to Sunset is Sunset Overdrive is missing very, very little that they have to add to it to make it fucking spectacular. Now, Xbox yeah, 448, right? Xbox says to me, hey, Mooch, you still get on and play the multiplayer. Great. Uh, you know what I want? I want to be able to play Sunset Overdrive 2 with Southbound, Crap, Live. You know what I mean? Yeah, Four-player, co co-op. Yeah, co they get it going co-op. I want co-op and competitive, yeah. Hey, hey even, competitive. Even, if, even if they made the same game yes. but, but made it co-op, yes. It would be phenomenal. If just, just fill the you know, the world was very, very detailed and filled in, but put more it shit. It around, yeah, put more shit in there besides the the orange fucking soda blobs. You know what I mean? Like, do some more shit. Like, but, but my point is, is, very little has to be done to make the game is. And I'll give you the example. I could not think of the movie that would be perfect to think of, but Terminator, right? Terminator One 
is good. And now that all the other ones, it's gotten a good lo- name for it. Everyone's like, well, Terminator One was great. That's nostalgia, people. Terminator One was okay. It was Terminator Two. You go 2. back and watch it. It was and, Terminator. And so, Terminator Two was the one. Yeah. Terminator Two yeah. was the shit. And That's when it shit. comes down to it, Sunset Overdrive Two is the Terminator Two of that series. Trust me, it will be the one that puts it on the map. I guarantee it. I guarantee fucking to it. And like you guys already said, they don't need to change a lot about the game. Very little of the game needs to be changed. Add co-op, put some more enemies on the screen, and make the game funny like you did, but like maybe you know not so funny. I, don't yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I think that they they should have four player co-op. Yes, each person should be able to select their own kind of personality, and you got to have a bunch of voices in there. Like um, what was that other game that's crazy like that? Uh, uh oh, uh, you mean like uh, actors Saints- and shit. Oh. Yeah, Saints Row did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have to have multiple people, yeah, like so multiple yeah, people you can yeah. select. Because I think you only could select like four. Was it? And, was and, that, and that's and it's like funny you bring up Saints Row. I can't wait for the next one because Saints Row is one of my favorite. You know, who, wacky, who zany. Who them you know? out though? Who, I thought they were in trouble. I thought that wasn't going to happen. No, 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 no. No, they, they, they were they were taken they were taken over by uh, what was it? Volition a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that they were THQ. I'm tripping. They're being published by. Uh, no, 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 no. It, that, it was B- Deep Silver. That's what it was. Yeah. Deep Silver. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Okay. Yeah, can you guys so just they, imagine? They, they bought the IP. Yeah. Can you guys imagine E3's eruption if Sunset Overdrive 2 came on there? Oh, wow. I mean, that's just insane. Oh, it, 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 it erupting. Big. Erupting now, rise, but it, but rise it, it, it seems awesome weird. Too. Like I said, that you, people are talking about sunset in the last week or so. I've seen, yeah. uh, I've seen it a lot of my timeline. And you know, Phil and Aaron really sunset. don't. They really don't back far away from that conversation either. They talk about it. They talk yeah. about it. I think it's, on, I think it's somewhere on Phil's desk. It's just a sheet of paper still, but it's somewhere on his desk where that could come back to life. The, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think sunset necessarily lost money. I think no. they've kind of broke even, but yes. it didn't make money. So that that's the right. problem. Right. Yeah. And it was so early in the generation. That was when a lot of like just craziness. Was and, it, and it came, it, it, and it, again, it came out at a wrong time. Yes, it you did. Know, these like yes, new, it these did. new IPs, they, they can't go up against, you know, Fallout. Call of Duty. And, you know, Fallout, Call of no, Duty. No. Yeah, the, the big games. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but the problem with Sunset was they were the first one to basically fall victim to that. So it was like, damn, right, right. We fucked up, but there was no like nobody else really took that plunge where we could say, oh, we know we're gonna fuck up if we fall in here, you know? Right. So. Well, what do you guys think about these Black Friday deals? I see Xbox has stepped on the gas a little bit. You've got an Xbox One S with <laughs> Battlefield One in there, Gears Four, and an extra controller for two hundred fifty dollars. I think that competes with the Pro pretty goddamn good. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! Hell it works. yeah! It works. You know, you know what's the key to that? What's Software. That? Yeah, you're going home with two <laughs> two games and two controllers, and if you got two kids, you're Merry Christmas. There you go, ready to go. You, those kids are good for the whole week off for their home. And, and what what was the price for that? Two fifty. Yeah, that's pretty 250 good. Two fifty for a Battlefield for how many One, gigs? Gears for Four, and an extra controller. That's you know, crazy. Mooch, and that's five hundred. Yeah, that's five hundred gig. I, Dude, oh, I told okay. you, I, I was wow, waiting wow. for the Scorpio. You know, you know when the S first came out and everything yes. like that, because I have the Elite controller. But that deal right there, like that, made me look twice. I was like, oh, hmm, like I, I don't 200, know, man. Hey, two fifty, you can't beat that, dude. No, I don't know. Yeah, I no, mean, that, that, that's awfully phenomenal. hard. Like, I don't need another slim, but I'm like, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah Microsoft should too. do an exclusive bundle, man. They should hey, put you, Sunset Overdrive, Quantum Break, Recore, all that shit. All digital. Like, hey, hey, why, why not? Look at Sony's. They got Drive Club going. Oh my god. Oh that? my god. <laughs> Sick, man. Drive this Club, Ratchet and Clank. Listen, I know, and Crap gave it a nine, I think. You know, listen, Ratchet and Clank on PS4, the remake they did there, the remaster. It's a good game. I, it is a good game. I'm a, not going to say it's not. A lot of people loved it. A lot of yes. people loved it. But, but let's be honest. Like, that's not. Gears 4, Battlefield 1, or Ratchet and Clank in Broken Drive Club. And you did get Uncharted 4 in there, too. But Uncharted 4 is really, it should have just been Uncharted 4. Drive Club and Ratchet and Clank to me are almost like just. They're just throw-ins. Well, I don't they know. They gotta do something to push that slim, man. Nobody's buying yeah. that crap. <laughs> well, was that for the slim or was that for the pro? I think that's the slim, oh, so isn't it? Is it? The, it is the slim. It is the how slim. come how come nobody's talking about the slim and how much that, that shit is an absolute bomb? Just dead, like on arrival. I talked about it, but yeah. well, me, well, the media won't it. the media yeah. won't say that it was confusing, right? 
No, everything's pro yeah. now. Like they don't even what Slim. Well, this is the slim is the slim is your girl's ugly friend, you know. Had <laughs> <laughs> to come to the club, right? You make your girl happy, yeah. like that's. Yeah, we got. Ah, oh, we got to bring this bitch along. God damn! Can <laughs> I bring this drunk bitch? <laughs> Like you got to get drunk to be with this bitch. Like, <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you. I'm uh, telling you. No, that I, I, just, I think day. that that's that's Xbox One's uh, answer for the pro. That's that that deal alone is probably going to either win them November or make it a fight. It'll make it a fight. But dude, it's you just know what? A, hey, that that's, that's really hard. That you look twice at that. I mean, two fifty yeah. for and two well, games listen, and a shout controller. Out, shout out to Matty yeah. Beast, right? Matty Beast said something to me. He was like, "So Mooch, he's like, I heard your whole because I gave the whole spiel of breaking it down and how you would get an Xbox One S and then a Scorpio and return your S." Matty B said to me, "He's like, Mooch, you can get a in an insane, an insane, um, maybe four K HDR monitor, thirty three inch." Put it in your office or any other room. And he's like, when Scorpio comes out, take one of your a Xbox One S's, hook it up to that that monitor that's insane for like four hundred dollars. Like getting a, a computer monitor that's really really top of the line. And he's like, just play Xbox One S in your office. You can just get away, or the kids can use it. Whatever. He like, it'll look sick. My point tying this all back for two hundred fifty bucks, you can have an Xbox One in the bathroom. I mean, you can put one wherever you want. I mean, that's that's an affordable Christmas present. Like if you're gonna get your yeah. nephew headphones, they're two hundred bucks. You're gonna get your nephew some Jordans, they're two hundred bucks. Like everything's two hundred right. bucks. Like you know what I mean? This is not outrageous anymore. Or if you just want to get your nephew the console, you could pull the games out, sell those for thirty bucks a piece to your friends. I don't know, do whatever the fuck you want with it. I mean, wait, aren't they selling like the TV with that for like five hundred or six hundred or something? Yeah, like I that? think yeah. Like, Walmart has like, a, like, like, you get a great HDR, gift to uh, give to a, a, a kid, HD. like a kid's first real TV with a console. With games for Christmas, yeah, that's nice. I think yeah. I think Walmart has a deal for a 4K TV with a, uh, a One S and a couple games or something for like 600. Man, a kid would be happier than a motherfucker got that shit for Christmas. Absolutely, what? I'd be happier than a motherfucker with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's true, man. It is. It's it's true as hell. It's true. No, I think I think Microsoft's got. Whoever they got in the driver's seat, I think it's Phil and a, and, a, and a marketing guy right now as far as what they're doing with money and, and, and as far as what they're doing with product is really looking good. That's looking very good. That's a nice little package. They, they, their marketing is, is, has really been on it's point. It's getting last better. They hired new people, I swear. Getting better. Like that, the marketing that they did the last kind of promo where they kind of went in layers and, and, and layers of games and stuff right. like that. That like I, I study I study advertising and stuff like that. I know about the the whole subconscious level when it comes to commercials. They hit the nail on the fucking head with with that advertisement. The only but, slip oh, the only slip up is the Titanfall two deal, but that's that's yeah. just something I think they did last minute. Um, but Mooch, yeah. Mooch. Titanfall uh, two great game. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing I, I, uh, hey, I second that. When, yeah, when it comes I, I am playing Call of Duty right now, but I already beat the Titanfall 2 campaign. Well, you know what I said? Yeah. You know, South, while I got you on here, the one thing I said on Xbox Nation, I'll ask you too, because listen, everybody, everybody we all know, everybody we all know, people that are listening in the audience that listen to all the other channels, everybody from crap to everyone we know has said the campaign is great. Mm -hmm. But what I'll, say, what I'll say again, I'll say it once, I'll say it a million times, and this is the truth. The problem I haven't heard I have not heard from everybody that said the campaign is great, that the multiplayer is great. Multiplayer and, is great. Yeah, but that's yeah, not yeah, everybody. Is. That's not everybody. There's a lot of people that said that it's not. Well, and just going by the tech, a lot of people are still. Not the tech, the tech test. test. No, I'm, I know, I'm, no, that's not yeah, fair. People, that's not yeah, fair. people are still jaded by that. Well, I'm just saying, though, but like my point is when we're talking about Call of Duty, the remaster or Infinite Warfare, or tonight when we talked about Halo, or when me and Live get together and we're playing Gears, we're, we're always talking about the multiplayer and the multiplayer I think on Titanfall 2 is still subpar to the to the to the first I one. think it's I think it's actually better uh, I, just I, you know the, what crap you're you only just, I, 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 you're I know, listen it. listen I'll tell you why just because the movements right like I, I think that some and like some of the maps like I hadn't even got to play all the maps yet but the one the newer ones that I've been playing Way better than the ones in the tech test, like way better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, the, hey, the, the fluidity of the game, yeah, it's really good. It is like ne next to nothing. I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah. It, you, I'm you telling could, you, look, you, could, look, I, you could put it up against any game, people, new Call of Duty included, and it, it 
It, I'm sure it, it might be the all, most polished but, shooter but, this generation so far. When I say that, that's over terrible. Halo Five. Well, hey, look at look at the day one patch, 88 megabytes or whatever it is. That's it. That we've never had one that low. We've never had a day yeah, one update you know what, that low. That thing was ready to go. But you know what really hurt it? The fact that n not many people played the game because it was no longer in EA access. Because because the tech yeah. test was so you know, fucking and, bad. A, a lot of people it were a lot of people were pissed off over that well, stupid that's disc I, bullshit. Well, no, you and know what, the though, listen, access. The disc was just like you know part of the cherry on top. That, that's not really what it is though, Southie. Really, when it comes down to it, was it was we said it early in the show. And we said it before the show. If they gave us EA access, even if uh, they didn't want to give us ten hours, they give us six hours. You would have got a lot of people to say what crap's saying right now because you all people have heard from crap for two weeks is campaign's great. It's the best multiplayer ever played. But if you fast, if you rewind the tape, you go watch craps three, four, five weeks ago. He was like, "I'm not buying that shit. That shit's garbage." Well, I said, I said oh, I wasn't yeah. sure. I, I said, I said. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, put, I'm, I'm paraphrasing you a little crap. But yeah. what I'm saying is, well, that, you know, I didn't get to make... play. They didn't offer. To be honest, they right. didn't offer attrition in there. It was like some game modes that they didn't offer attrition. The cloaking, you had to get to level seventy five. Yeah, they did both of those things. Yeah, like, everything was all effed up. Like, yeah. let us try the game. Guys, like we in, in, in that you would have changed so much. And let me ask you another question. I think Live was talking about it beforehand. Crap, didn't you say that you did a guesstimate? This is a guesstimate, people. When you say that there's probably five million people on EA Axis, that's yeah, a fair you know what, ratio, I, yeah, I, right? I just said probably, probably maybe five even two million. and a half million or yeah, maybe three million. Even if you said three million as a conservative. Million. So if you did three million conservatively, right, guys? I mean, figure out the percentage there. There's going to be at least a million people would have picked it up from that. I mean, like, I don't know half, because you know what? A lot of my million? you know like friends you know that I know in real life don't yeah. have EA access. You know, I mean, like I know like us on you know on Twitter and stuff. The diehards have it. But a lot of like my real, you know, real life friends, they don't have it. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, with, see, I'm the, with you on that, Sal. But see, the thing is, you only need one. All you need yeah. is one person to play the play the EA access in that group of friends. Well, to say, oh, this actually, shit is legit. Yeah, so and live, everybody live, should right. go get it. You know, it That's takes one. Per it takes one person when it's a multiplayer game to say, listen, I said Call of Duty, right? Like South, I I talked to my my friends at work and they were like, "Yo, so you you picked up Call of Duty?" I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, how, "They're like, how is it?" I'm like, "I haven't played the multiplayer yet, but I'm like, I'm thinking it's pretty good. I'm hearing good things about it." They're like, "Well, let us know on Monday. Maybe we'll go pick it up." So for every one person that picks up a game, four or five sales will come off of it, and then it's a pyramid, right? Those four or five people talk to people, but with Titanfall two, it was the reverse. So many people were like, "I'm not gonna go buy the game." It, it ended up being a dead end for everybody. Like the people were like, "Are you getting it?" I'm like, "No, I'm not getting it right now. I got too many other things to play." All right, so like, boom, 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 boom. All these doors shut. GKB and she well, yeah, they were like, "We're not getting it." True. Boom, 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 true. boom, boom, boom. All those doors shut. So all of a sudden, this tree that would have been huge with with users all shut down. The branches, the roots are all dead. That tree died, and and that that's what Vince had to understand was. I understand what we were talking about beforehand, and possibly it was the contract negotiations and EA. My point is this: forget all that. Vince has already been in the Vince has been in the game for a long time. He knows what's up. He should have gave everybody the six hour test. And here's what I said, uh, Southie. So make it some new make it some new waves. We talked about it on Xbox Nation. They did it this past weekend with uh, the Handsome Collection, Borderlands. They've done it before with Overwatch. I'm I'm begging Vince. I'm talking to Respawn, guys. Give us a weekend for free. Let us play for a weekend or one day. I don't give a shit what you do. Let people try this game. And let me tell you something. If it's that good, I'll buy it. Like, you know, and I'm not the only one that feels that way. You know, yeah. Mooch, Mooch, another thing about giving a free weekend is you basically download the whole game. So, like, when you like it and stuff like that, if you decide to purchase it afterwards, yeah. there's no waiting around for the game to actually get fully right. downloaded. You got it. Care. You got it. You know what I mean? Now, I would say this much, though. Even if you're going to give it away for the weekend for free or let people try it, I would limit the campaign to, to, to the first two chapters or two acts because yeah. you don't want people – people will beat the game. You can beat the game. <laughs> oh, we'll right, see. right. Well, that's what I'm saying. You, no, you, you get somebody weekend. That. They're, they're, they're going to tear up the campaign. Or multiplayer. Make it a multiplayer weekend. That that campaign yeah. was phenomenal. I was like, damn. I was like, they yeah, no, it really Nick was. Nah, I was like, oh, hey, they should have hey, shown a break a few things about how they do some. Uh, it was some beautiful. Travel, yeah, two like, two yeah. things, absolutely beautiful. I want the audience to take two things away today. Uh, crap likes the campaign, <laughs> and it's also Friday. 
<laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You guys know all that already. I'm hey. sorry. Crap, we know you like hey, the Jeff I, I like the hey, I like the multiplayer too. I just don't really have anybody to play it with. I'm a big fan of my parents. <laughs> I like New York State. <laughs> I like fucking ice cream after dinner. Hey, There's a everybody, lot of things I like that are givens. Crap, we got. He's it. like, I like a little bit everybody, of linguine. Hey, everybody was all like, everybody was like, damn man, I get that Titanfall <laughs> too. I feel Nesha, so now I'm like all alone, nobody to play with. Oh, <laughs> that's you know <laughs> goes up all by myself. Hey. You won't be alone for like. Yeah, what comes next alone, week? brother? You think I'm next? He week? actually is south, but because uh, I got news for you, South. I was looking. We did it. We did a run through on Xbox Nation just for fun. Who was playing? I had one out of 51 online. I think Ooh, Crap yeah. had one or two yeah. out of like 68 online. And then I had be, South and, and Rand playing. I, I, had, Tim, yeah. I had Tim. Yeah, I had Tim. Yeah, I had Tim. I had four out of 161. So. I was, I was That's watching not good. That. Yeah, like out of 150 people I had online at that time because you guys had me checked. There was well, seven, well, I, I, seven. I always look, I always look at, you know, when you go into the, into the hub. Yeah. yeah, and I always look how many friends. I, I always have, have like two. Yeah, what did you see? <laughs> well, no, no. I mean, the, how many friends have it? And I, and, I, and I think it was about seventy. Yeah, but South, you have. Oh, yeah, but how many friends do you have on Xbox Live? Um, One million, two fifty or something. Right. So that's not bad. Yeah, about two fifty. Well, I, I usually, I usually have about two or three. South, I usually I have about debunk, two or three. But I got I got to debunk South, though. South said 70, so a lot of people at home are, like, putting their one eyebrow up in the air, and they're like, oh, that's a lot of people. But don't forget, South, a lot of the people you're talking about, are you have a lot of uh, Xbox, like, employees on your friends. Yeah, right. So, and so, you know, right. and you have a lot of people that are in hey, the I, industry. I got to say, though, it's, it's a bad problem <laughs> to have. It's a bad problem to have as Xbox fans getting hit with back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back shooters that are just phenomenal. Well, no, they're all you. great. And listen, I, like I said, I, I want everyone to, to re- Listen to this episode, please. You know, give me some more views. But my point is that I'm not bashing the game. I just I didn't like the tech test. I didn't like how EA, the, they pulled the EA access stuff from underneath us. And yeah. uh, then then you sprinkle in the other wacky stuff that was the social media aspect. But that was just that's just a sprinkle on top. Realistically, it was just more of a consumer standpoint. And mm -hmm. this is the thing: it's See, not more. I don't know. I, I I still think the game should have spoke for itself, and people should have given you know. Uh, it don't work it like that. More. It don't work like that, South. Not in any business. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. You, know? work. you can't and, have and, 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 crappy and, PR and, and all that, and then expect yeah. people to be like, "Well, I guess I'll give you some of my money, even though you treat me like shit." Well, you know what? That game to me, like that. and this, I get some. I might get some hate from that. It's better and more accessible than Battlefield One. I like Battlefield One yeah. as well, but that yeah. game is like you need a team and you gotta have forty minutes to put aside for a match. It's a high it's learning a lot curve. Of time, man. It's a lot of yeah. time. Yeah, it's definitely a high learning curve. Yeah, B yeah. Battlefield's gore. Another thing, it's gorgeous. I mean, I'm not buying. So, just to prove my point, I'm not buying Battlefield either. But I downloaded the ten hour trial, played three hours with Jez and and the Xbox Pope. And I played with some other people. I think Don jumped in. I played that game for like three hours, and I was like, listen, okay, this just confirmed that this game is not for me. I think Titanfall 2 right. with, with the demo would have convinced me the other way. Well, see, mm -hmm. and, and, and but that's what I, that's the thing when it comes to you. I thought because of how much you love Titanfall 1, yes. you would overlook the, the EA Access bullshit and all that. And you would have still got it because of how much you loved part one. You're looking you know, at look who you're talking to, man. <laughs> well, you mean, I, didn't, I didn't get it either, but no, um, I love Titanfall. Listen, when Titanfall two it hits the vault, I'm gonna have the biggest party, crap, and crap, I'm gonna have, have a launch. Countdown, right, crap, crap. You said three, three I months. Do here, baby. I'm like three months, right, crap. <laughs> three I, months for what? For for, 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 for being a vault. vault. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. They, they, no, no, no. They, they, well, wait, they, South, 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 hold on. Let me ask the question, though. South, did you buy Battlefield 1? No, I didn't. Did you buy Mafia 3? Did you? Are you yes, buying Dead Rising 4? Uh, yep, I pre-ordered it. Okay. But you didn't buy Battlefield 1, right? So me and you, for the entire pretty much fall, no. we all have the same thing. Not everybody buys everything. We ha yeah. I have Call of Duty, right? Mm -hmm. I've got Gears of War 4. And I'm playing the shit. I'm, I, I I gotta say, man, I I never in my life. I'm not a gearhead because that's not fair to the real gearheads. There's real gearheads out there, right? I mean, right. even crappy like right. right? yeah. right. yeah. I'm not a gearhead because that's an insult to them. Those guys are gearheads. But let me tell you something. I'm having a fucking blast playing with the gearheads. You know, this is a great you know game, man. It's balanced, man. There's something that it goes for like. Uh... Especially playing multiplayer, you feel like you're matched against people at your same level. Can, you don't feel like you're getting your 
I don't know. Everything. I get my ass whooped. That oh, yo, South, you got to join us. You got to join us tonight, <laughs> Southie. You got to join us tonight. It, first of all, it's off the chain. Hey, well, I'll, I'll, I'll probably be playing some Call of Duty if I jump on tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm, oh, gonna, I'm probably going to play Duty. That's too. the problem, man. We've had. We got so many freaking, games. Yeah, so many games. I know that's a, like People are like, that's, that's a like problem. That. Great problem, man, though. <laughs> hey, I hey my sister, yeah, I'm that's like, the thing. Uh, what it am is. I playing? You know, that's the thing that there, there's just so many games in the yeah. backlog and, you know, you're like, well, I want to finish, you know, the Titanfall campaign. Oh, but I want to check out, you know, both Call of Duties. You know, it's like I, I don't have that many hands. I don't have this much time. Like, what what, what the fuck am I going to do? Yeah, that's a big problem. That's I gotta address. I gotta address a dude in the, in the chat. Pro, Protus X who's a big Xbox guy. I, I never said if I did. Pardon me, because I, I didn't mean it. He says, I don't agree with Mucha on the fact that he said Infinite Warfare is better than the remaster. I never said that. I didn't even play the remaster yet. So, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, I'll that, talk that, about- that was the first thing I jumped on. I was like, here we go. I was like, it's go time. I'm so McTavish, bitches. You know what I mean? I'm running that. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm running that thing. I was like, I was like, hold on. Let, let me think. I know how to get this achievement. And I was remembering achievements from nine years ago. Right. I was like, wow. oh, if I blow up two people with this grenade here. I'm going to get that achievement. If I fucking just knife three people in a row, I'm going to get that achievement. And I was like, I don't even have to fucking look. You know what I mean? It was like, I, I got that shit down. You know, that's that's my, like, probably my all-time favorite shooter. You know, just that game is so fuck. And I, then I hopped in my first multiplayer game. I think I want something like 32 and 8 or something. It was like, I was like, I'm, I'm on it, man. I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because, look, when my first Battlefield map, I was like 6 and 12. My first uh, Titanfall 2 map, I did pretty good on that. I was like 8 and 3 or something. But fucking That's lately, you're playing with- against a bunch of new. They haven't been playing that game for a long time. <laughs> They've been jetpacking and fucking running on walls for the last Oh, well, they're years. not yeah, used man. to the crap gamer drop shot. That's that's what it's all about. <laughs> I, I was doing that too, bro. <laughs> yeah, that shit. That shit, dude. That shit, like, didn't work in the newer Call of Duties. No, but it works, but in, the it, it works in that one, man. I'm like dropping there, like, what's this? Because you could tell, like, those kids and stuff that are used to cannons, bro, are just going off. Like, <laughs> exactly, <right there. laughs> and 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 what's funny is there's a lot of people running around like they know how to snipe. I'm like, I know all the fucking grenade spots. I know I know how to get up to your ass. You're gonna die. You're not gonna snipe me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm well trained in all that shit. Like to me, it was just like I'm I'm fun. You know, it's like I get it now. All your games, forwards compatible. So this game looks great. It's gonna look great on Scorpio. It's gonna, you know what I mean? Like to me, I I get it now. You know, yeah. I get the remasters. I finally get it. I don't care about well, it anymore. Well, crap. So- here's the thing, though. And you know what, though, You're, what you said is justified. But here's the thing with remasters, everybody. Now the remasters are fun. You're getting a remaster on top of a new game, on top of a new game, then a remaster pops up. That's all fantastic. The reason we all bitched and complained back in 2013, 2014 was we weren't getting any new games. It was just like, hey, I guess I'm looking forward to playing so and so remastered again. You know what I mean? It was like that was was what pissing. Off. Now the remasters are coming through as like a treat. Like it's really it's it's a, it's a bonus. Well, you I don't know, know why I look at it. It's so good is because you know that they're going to the Scorpio and the Pro. Before it, we were right. just getting them, we were like, well, what the fuck is the point? Yeah, like, Mike and Barr came I out this week this and shit. said all back compat, all these old everything, everything is everything is coming to Scorpio. So when Scorpio comes out, there's no right. You still be able to, there, yep. yeah, there, there, you're still gonna be able to play cross platform, right? You know, quote unquote. I, I, can you even say cross platform? You know, I Xbox guess, One, I know Scorpio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, technically, you could say that. I mean, yeah, but it's Wait. it's the same. It's the same. Um, Ecosystem, ecosystem. Yeah. yeah, right. You know, it's just I guess it's like playing, you know, uh, Gears with uh, uh, Windows 10 and and Xbox. Well, but yeah, a buddy of mine that works in my office, he says uh, he goes, he's he's not buying a Scorpio day one. He just got an Xbox One, like I think like six months ago, and he's like, dude, he's like, so he goes, I keep hearing you talk about Scorpio. So he's like, basically, what'll happen is next year, then we're not going to be able to play games again. I'm like, absolutely not, actually. I'm like, you can go out buy the same game I get, and the only difference is. My TV in my house, it'll look better than yours. And that's not being a dick. I'm like, that's just what it is. You know, it is what it is. Right. You know, uh, but right. but but I go, it's not gonna lower your experience. Does it change your experience? Huh. What do you give a shit? Like if the guy next to you at Best Buy, you go to Best Buy tomorrow and you buy a three thousand dollar OLED. The guy next to you buys a ten thousand dollar OLED. When he goes home, he's gonna see a pub. 
probably a better experience. But when you get home, you have no idea what he's experiencing. So it doesn't lessen your. It really doesn't no, matter. No, it doesn't matter hey, at all. As long as long as you're enjoying what you're doing that's and what right. you're playing, that's all the fucking matters. That's Anything right. Anything else is that's all to the wayside. That's, that's right. Sal. Wait, is 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 Call, Call of Duty crossplay? Um. No, with, with no, Windows wait, 10? No. No. no, Windows 10 version. No, 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 no. Is it even cross-play with the Steam version that people are <laughs> flipping out? No, <laughs> oh, that's just crazy. I wonder why, why they be do that. What was the reason the... for that? There was a little bit of a discussion about that today. Why can't it cross with Steam? They're they're not allowing it, I guess. I don't know. Microsoft's not? That's or that's, that's what they're saying. Steam. Microsoft has such an open door policy right now. I can't believe that that would be them putting their phone. Oh, down. it's going to be a big deal. Wait till yeah. the fucking epic guy gets a hold of this and told you they're trying to dominate. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Mike Sweeney or Tim Sweeney Tim or whatever Sweeney. his name is. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap the show up. It's Friday night. People want to go play Call of Duty. I want to thank this entire crew. Uh, I'll thank uh, Food because Food is not here right now. And I do want to take one minute, guys. This is a little bit of a mooch rant here. Um, I gave crap some shit, but, you know, listen, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm going to tell you that I was wrong, and I do want to say, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe <laughs> button, for God's sakes. Like, let me tell you something. I, I, I've come to a conclusion here, after, and crap, crap talked me into it, and I did some pondering. A lot of people you're looking at on this panel, okay, uh, whether they have YouTube shows and channels or not, or they're just on Twitter, like, a lot of people put a lot of time into this content, and we hope you do enjoy it. But it is nice to see two things. It's nice to see that all of you guys come up. We, we hit 300, 301 or two today in this podcast. You know, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, because not only do we have Crossfire on here and uh, some of my small short videos, but we also have MNC Mornings that's every other week. And if you guys are not watching MNC Mornings, you're really, really missing out because it's you that controls the show. You know, it's the too audience. It's goddamn early. Fucking oh, well, yeah, get your ass fuck up, for me. And- and call you in. Fuck, <laughs> fuck that. Hey, I did though. I did call in that one time. Yeah. Southy, Southy, put your alarm clock on. You just be like, fucking give me. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just growl and be like, kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, South, we'd love that anyways, man. But you know, like I say to everybody, not just me, but I gotta, I'm promoting myself because it's one of the first times. Crap, I think we've we've been doing this. You've been, you've known me for two years. I've never said hit the subscribe button. But, yeah. You know, hit that button. Let people. It, it's nice to let people know that you're enjoying their content. It That's does, Robin. Because like, yeah, look, yeah. like it was at a point. Like, not to be a dick, but I'm sitting there doing a lot of content, and some people are like, once in a while, I'll get messages, and they're like, "Awesome, man, I love it." And then like, you just, I don't know, it just feels better when you show up to a fucking podcast, like, and you see five, six hundred likes or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, true. That, I like that. You know what I mean? It, it makes you, it makes you want to keep going and doing this shit. You know what I mean? Because I'm not doing this shit. For yeah, me. but people hate. Yeah. But people hate you guys. You guys get like six hundred fucking dislikes. So nah, you know. that, <laughs> actually, you know what? It, it's been. I gotta say, it's it hasn't been like that. You know, the one reason that I always said the crap, I, I didn't stress hitting the like button before was at the end of the week, I still ended up getting five, six hundred likes and only like forty something dislikes. So it wasn't that it was bad, but it's it's nice to see the people. You you do have to remind them. I actually talked to a few people uh, this week. It was really cool. I had some really really great. Uh, just phone calls on Skype with some people who have like huge YouTube channels. And they told me they're like, Mooch, they're like, we really like the way you do certain things, but they're like, you never tell people to just hit subscribe. And you never hit tell people to hit like. And he's like, I have this one guy I was talking to has like 110,000 subs. He's like, I say it every goddamn day. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. He's like, you you've got to remind people that if you're enjoying the content to subscribe and hit like. It lets you know it, it is, it's a, it's a feedback system. Everything yeah. like like when you leave GameStop, every time, what do they do? They hand you the receipt, they circle the thing on the bottom, they're like, please fill this shit out and we'll give like, you like please make me look good to the yeah, boss. You know what I mean? Please. So it is. It, we, no matter exactly South, you know, and that's what it is. So it, it really is a really great thing to do to anybody you enjoy on YouTube, not just my channel. It goes for crap, South on TXR, definitely Gamer Knows Best channel with She Wolf. Xbox four four eight put so much goddamn time into his channel. You know, <laughs> his kids forgot his name. <laughs> and every guy, so let, let people know that you're enjoying this content. And Livewire has got one of the best one-on-ones with himself that I've seen on anyone do. Well, he's, he's, he's up there competing with Zaire with his one-on-ones. Zaire's is just <laughs> off the hook. So, you know, uh, so anyways, yeah, that, wow. that's my plug and my outro. But crap, t- tell us where we can find you this weekend. Uh, well, we got MNC mornings, Sunday morning, probably around 1045 a.m., 11, probably 11 a.m. I'm just going to say 11. It's 11. Uh, we got great giveaways again, crap. Yeah, we do. Like, Maddie Beast gave us a thing. Yeah. Uh, 
a three month Xbox Live cards. We've got some game, got EA access codes, uh, all kinds of good shit. So people can call in and check that out. I got videos on my channel. Uh, still doing, there's not a whole lot of stuff going out. So I've been really just kind of doing videos that I kind of wanted to do instead of maybe what's going to get, you know, pique people's interest because there's not a whole lot going on. You know, it's like it's sort of a slow time right now. So, uh, oh, and, and, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you know what? I actually, I'm gonna do you a solid, Mooty. What's that, buddy? Just, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send you a copy of Titanfall Two. Stop it! Stop it! Stop. Send him one. Do it. it. Do send, it. Hey, send a hey, because I want to fucking see you eat crow next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much shit hey. I would get. Holy hey, shit. I'm going to send you a copy, bro, I'm, I'm because I, I have three copies left. Lupo! Uh, Lu, Lupo! Listen to South. South, you're, you're a man amongst ants, buddy. I always appreciate what you do, bro. You're, you're a great guy. I will... Uh, Dude, Mooch hey, is going to be like, Titanfall hey, 2 you, you, is the you, you, best Titanfall. Woo! It's the best. <laughs> the campaign what? is amazing. What's called um, you know what? um <laughs> Yeah, hey, seriously, I want you to eat crow, because, hey, listen, I'm going to send you I'm gonna send you the fucking game. And I and I want I want a tweet, and I want an apology on this fucking show. Oh, <laughs> man. listen to this, guys! Wow, this is I'm on the hook right now. We'll we'll we'll, we'll definitely talk about this. Hey. we'll definitely see. What he's like, he's like, hold on, it's like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I don't want to put myself on the hook that bad. Yeah, you, you but, sure no, said, I was like, no, because, no, that that that's how that's how much I think that you will enjoy the but game. See, that's not fair because let me be honest with you. You said it earlier in the show and crap knows this and GKB definitely knows this. Like I love Titanfall. So you already know that's not fair. You know what I mean? That you know, right. I love Titanfall. It's not, it's not a stretch. It's, it's not, not a, stretch. a stretch. It's not a stretch at all. As a matter of fact, I even said it twice today and I said it on Xbox nation. I said that if I could try it, I would buy it. And I already said that. I mean, I don't mean try it like at your friend's house. Okay. I meant like if we right. have we'll, we'll put, it, put it this way. Put it put it this way. I'll send you the game, and, and if you like it, pay it for it and buy it for some, or give it get away on the show. That sounds fair. I like that because then we'll do it on EA. We'll do it on MNC mornings. There you go. I appreciate that. All right, let's 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 see let's let's see if this transpires into something. I like that. I like giving back to the community. Anyways, we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, that's what it should be, Southie. I agree. It's not that I should get it for nothing at all. I have no problem purchasing the game if it's a good game. So if it if I do like it, then I will uh I will purchase it and give it to another person who's been waiting to play it. You know, go to Amazon, just buy a code, and boom, there it is. Oh no, you got my word on that. I uh, so Southie, do me a favor. Where can we find you? Because I know uh, we got TXR coming up on Monday. Yeah, it takes our Monday nights, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. <laughs> and, <laughs> you, you, and you can you catch me on Twitter. I, I'm kind of laying low on Twitter. I, like I said, I've been having a lot of personal shit going on, you know, yeah. like health issues and family. I had a, a death in the family this past weekend. So, I, you know, I, I'm, I actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to even be making it to CXR because the funeral's on Monday. So, you know, I don't know how the timeline's going to, you know, mesh up. But usually Monday nights, you know, it's TXR. The, the, but, this, is, uh, this is what I've been saying. I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. You know, thank you, South, for doing the show, because I know you got a lot going on. We talked before the show on, you know. And uh, this is what I was saying to let, let people know, whether it be TXR, let it, whether it's BGST, Crap Gamer, Xbox Nation, Console Corner, you know, next podcast, Livewire, myself. You got to let people know by hitting the like and hitting the subscribe button. It lets people know when they got a, we got a lot of stuff going on in private lives that you guys enjoy this content. So, Sal, thanks for coming on tonight. And uh, oh, thank my you pleasure. For your input. I, I always try. You know, you're a big I mean? person I, in the, for the you're big person. You're a big person in the community. A lot of people know that too. Ah, no, 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 not not like you. I've Man, the fucking mo mooch maniacs were in effect. We, we, you, me and you were going back and forth about time fall. Oh yeah, man, the mooch maniacs were jumping all over me like fucking. <laughs> <flat hands. laughs> oh man, I was like, get these fuckers off me. <laughs> <laughs> you said it just like Oscar too. Yeah, I love that, Southie. Yeah, Southie was like, get these fuckers off me. No, South, thank you again, bro. Where everybody you, go. Where everybody go. Yo, if nobody knows, <laughs> you'll find out soon enough with that man. No, it was awesome, bro. Awesome. GKB, what's Taco up? Corner. What's up, bro? Where can we find you? Hey, guys. Uh, We just did a cool Halloween special. If you want to go laugh your ass off, uh, go check that out. Uh, yeah, while you're at, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Yeah, Noof, yes. uh, Noof was hilarious with that, yeah. <laughs> with that uh, Terminator stuff. Tell everybody where they can go vote now. And Oh, we got a poll on uh, Twitter. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> results coming in 2018. Yeah. The results coming. Vote right now is Noof, but we still got the Electoral College. So the yeah. other guy still in the running. There's like six, six more ways that they can win across the map. So uh, go ahead and vote, guys, uh, for your favorite one out there. Big shout out to when- She-Wolf, uh, Fox, uh, Brutal on the show. Very cool. Gamers knows best. Thank you, GKB, for doing the show. And yeah, just in case anyone's right wondering, the, the winner will be revealed when Scorpio is released. So <laughs> we have um, we have Xbox 448 who puts enough money into his production. You think Michael Bay was running his goddamn channel? What's up, bro? I, I need more explosions, man. Um, Dude, yeah. it was awesome when you had crap on there. That was probably the best intro I've ever seen for any guest on any show Dude, ever. Dude, I, I was able to gong people. I was able to do whatever the hell I wanted. Yeah. It was awesome. That was man. awesome. Yeah. yeah, last last Saturday, you know, craps take over. Um, dude, absolutely insane. Uh, I, I love. We just had a great time, yo. Uh, crap called in next gen, so we we just had everybody together, bullshit, and just about everything. Um, it was a really fun show. Uh, you know, next podcast definitely. Uh, every Saturday, six p.m. Not only that, I was telling Mooch, uh, kind of, um, you know when we, w- we before we went live that i'm actually working on three new projects for my channel uh the, the first one is going to be <laughs> unveiled next week it's kind of like a a live stream for for people who you know you're out working and stuff like that your usual lunch break is about 12 o'clock i'm going to do a, a um a lunchbox live stream just a bunch of different games every wednesday at 12 o'clock and i got a couple other projects that i'm just not ready to announce yet but they're coming down the pipeline uh keep it's really your big hat me. buddy keep dude you know you know you see from the the next podcast man like i i i make sure i go all out with what i do you know before i i put it out there and um these, well, these... well you know what it's, i'm sorry i don't mean to interrupt you but no, I, no I have to commend you because saturday is a hard day to do a podcast yeah it is because yeah, yeah. you know i mean it, obviously the viewership will be down because a lot of people are out doing shit Mm-hmm. So you know what I mean, like so you already know you're at a disadvantage for doing it on a Saturday. So yeah. you know, like I said, hats off to you for even picking a Saturday to you do know, a show. Dude, this is where the community, the community has been absolutely incredible. We're not even six months in as a podcast, and uh, like I, I look back at like the the previous episodes, and uh, you know, over a thousand, fifteen hundred views, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I can't, I cannot shout out the community enough because uh, I mean, we're basically babies out here. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're new on, on the podcast scene and to see the support, it's been absolutely incredible, man. But yeah. yeah you, uh, well, you keep up the work you're putting into it, dude. Everyone sees the time and effort you're putting in, bro. Yeah, I, I actually, um, uh, an anonymous, uh, somebody wants to keep anonymous because just cause they like the podcast actually sent me a bunch of, uh, computer parts. I'm actually going to be building my own rig, uh, you know, for the channel and stuff. I've been using an i5 processor. I will be putting in an i7 processor. Uh, yeah, yeah, 12, 12 gigs DDR3, brand new motherboard, the whole shebang, yo. Like, like I said, the community is absolutely incredible, man. It's an amazing place, man. There, there, there's place. a lot of people with big hearts out there. And, and you oh, know, yeah. once they nice. like you, hey, people have your back 110%. I, and that's the beautiful thing about the Xbox community because you really feel a, 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 kin- a kinship within yeah, the community. I agree. And, and that, that's what I appreciate the most. I agree. And that's part of what I'm going to say when I talk about Livewire right now is I, I, I until, until you get in a fucking argument with Moots and then they fucking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, remember, yeah, South at the end at the end of that tweet fest that me had to go back and forth. So I was like, "What are you guys?" And South's like, "No, you're like Moose, my brother." He's like, "I'm just I'm just going back and forth on this subject right now, man. We were just bullshit." Yeah, uh, like people were thought that we were like legit fighting and shit. I go, "Hey, I love nah. Moose, but he's wrong." And then this yeah. fucker ten minutes later comes back, "I love South, but he's wrong." And I go, "Yeah," and you were like, like "Dick kid." <laughs> <laughs> I saw that like 10 minutes after I said that. I was just laughing at my I'm at work and people are like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I'm like, don't worry about it. You'll never get it. I'm like, yo, it was great. It was great. But no, like what 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 one of the things that GKB and she will started with community game night expanded out and was able to like get me to hang out with a lot more people that do watch all of our shows and live. Remember, we we've been jamming out with a bunch of people that listen to everybody's channel, man. And it's been amazing. Yes. So- some some are real cool. Some are, well, you know, <laughs> a little, little interesting. Some people some, some people trip you out a little bit, but that's okay. That's all part of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Listen, you can't be a superstar, right? And look at it. 
anybody you know, yeah, you right? You can't pick and choose. You can't, pick you can't really choose. pick and choose. You got some of these guys that are out there doing like crazy things like the Rolling Stones or even Jesus is out there doing his thing. There's some crazy people in the audience, you know, so yeah. it, it's the way it is. It is what it is. But you know what? I, I welcome everybody because it's fun, man. They bring a different element to the game. They bring a different element to the evening. And uh, yeah, but live, plug your channel, man, and because people got to know where to find you. Yeah, it's your boy Livewire. Um, use man, what am I doing right now? Fuck, man, working, man, working is fucking kicking my ass, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, every once in a while, I try to, I try to put out. I don't even try to do rant videos. It's just like mm. I usually just. I'm on Twitter. I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Oh hell no! And I just get on fucking YouTube. <laughs> I like that's it. usually how I do it. Like I, I don't even yeah, plan it. it it's genuine live. It's genuine wow, shit wow. when you do it. And, you know, some man, listen, like, listen, being on Twitter and fucking listening to YouTube for the last, I don't know, three years, and you just mm-hmm. see like the bullshit that goes on. Like, look, that's man, just I'm me out, dude. bro. Yeah, look, look, I'm an Xbox dude, and I concede PlayStation is stronger than Xbox. I totally get it. But at the same time, you can't tell me that Xbox has no fucking good games worth people, you know, touting. Like, or you just say Halo's great. What the fuck you talking about Halo for? Be like, what the fuck? I like Halo. Can I not say Halo? Nah, motherfucker. PlayStation, bitch. Kill yourself. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, it, it, yep, and the next thing you know, you got a picture of a dick in your mouth. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's, you know, that, that's how I was introduced. You know what? That's the crazy thing. That's how I was introduced to Tim Dog because he was the first one who was like, yo. He was because I, I made a video about this guy who was harassing me on Twitter. Tim Dog got wind of it and he introduced me to. Freaking PTK. He was like, yo, this dude, he went off on this pony that was been, been harassing me for days. I was like, yo, I love this guy. He's he's great, man. So that's <laughs> how I met Tim Dog. And then and then through Tim Dog, I met uh I mean through through uh Tim Dog, I met uh PTK and through PTK I met GKB and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, and that's yeah, pretty man. much how it how it happens. But a lot of the truth is we started off. All of us, for the most part, I think we started off as gamers just going to YouTube mm-hmm. looking up for Xbox shit because yep. we're playing on Xbox. And then you just see a lot of bullshit. Like, what the fuck is going on? Are we not playing the same shit? Yeah, exactly. That's a great then, point. Then that's what, you know, it just snowballs. It's like, look, man, I'm not, I just love games. And the only reason why I chose fucking Xbox is because. It had the games like it's the it's not fucking rocket science. It wasn't fucking resolution. And it and T-Fox. it's and it's, it's where games. your friends are. It's where your friends are. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That too. Yo, there's a hell of a community out there, man. I know we keep saying it over and over. It sounds like we're beating a dead horse, but I own a PS4 and I turn that thing on. Even with the the friends list I have, it's crickets. It's straight up crickets over there. You get on here, it is honestly, God. We had a house party the other day on there. There it is, crazy. Crap. Thank you. <laughs> we had a house party the other night. It was crazy. People were loud, we drinks. Got, People were having fun. It was awesome. We got to get our outros home. take uh, fucking forever. Oh, my fault. Crap. Sorry about that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I got Call of Duty to play. I'm like, I want to I thank. Fault. I want to thank the Lord. I want to thank you. Know what I'm so it was like, <laughs> shout out, shout out to it. Shout out to the sink. Shout out. But, uh, I want to I wanna thank my cameraman. You know, this, some of the some of the usual suspects couldn't make it tonight, and I'm hoping that Xbox addict gets back home safe and healthy. He's safe, in the hospital. Yeah, healthy. Yeah, so prayers with that guy yeah, out there. Shout out to addict. He's there's no bigger Xbox fan than that dude, and uh, you know he's yeah, definitely. he's putting his whole life right now on Twitter. So listen, uh, we hope you get back. We can't wait to have you back on next week, addict. And uh, listen, with that being said, good night, everybody. Go play some Call of Duty. We'll catch you later. Peace. Anti-hopping. <laughs>